Okay, so I think I'm live. Hello, everybody out there on Facebook. Oh, hold on. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> we had two uh, voices going on there. So I think I've turned one off. <laughs> um, so hello. Um, I've just been on just okay. doing. I think that's it. <laughs> Here we, we go again. We had two uh, voices going on there. I think that's better. Let's wait. Is there another voice coming in? There's a cat. There's Mo. Mo's decided to say hello. Hello, Mo Mo. Hello. Oh, you're wet again. How many times do you want to go out there and get back in to get? Oh my goodness. This is what he loves. He loves being towel dried. He loves it. He, he keeps coming back in, going out, getting wet, coming back in. Getting towel dried. Oy, oy, oy. What do you like, boy boy? My little love. Is that okay now? Yeah. I don't know. These puss cats. These puss cats. Okay, is my microphone working? Yes, because it just knocked it over. Okay, we are all right. You want some sweets? Okay. So I've just been on and just doing some live readings. Just did some of those for people. It was uh, quieter tonight than usual, which is fine because then I have get, got chance to do the astrology readings. Um, so that works out well because otherwise, sometimes if I'm very busy doing that then my energy levels and my throat can't cope with doing, um, you know, other readings. Okay, uh, where's my little book? Hmm. I've got a little book that has got all of my astrology things on. And I can't find it. It's not there. It's not there. Okay. So I will have to write it in another book. Because I like to keep up with where I'm at. If I don't, I end up doing um, some of the astrology things twice. I did that before. That was very frustrating. Finished enough now, Mo? It's very frustrating. Where's that book gone? Hmm. You think you've got everything ready, and then when it comes to it, it's not there. Here it is. Ah, that's my book. That's what I wanted. Okay. My little trusted book. Okay, so. So yeah, we're going to do the astrology signs. Um, we're going to start with air, then we're going to go fire, water and earth. Unless there's people in the chat who, that might change if there's people in the chat who are different, um, different astrologers. So if there's loads of fire signs in there, then obviously I'll do it first. Um, let's have a look. So what day is it? Sunday today, isn't it? Oh, so next Friday, is it Friday? 
next Friday, next Thursday, we are going to be, if you um, live around this area in, um, in the Kent area, we're going to be at the Five Bells in um, Eastry. Uh, we're going to be there doing uh, psychic readings and a demonstration of uh, mediumship there. So uh, the medium for that will be Jill Page. Um, and then you've got other readers there doing one-to-one -one readings. Um, so there's myself, um, there's Athena, Destiny and Jill doing one-to-one -one readings. So, so yeah, if anybody's in that area, the tickets are five pounds. You need to contact the Five Bells um, in East Street to book your ticket. Um, because obviously there's limited spaces and everything has to be done, um, you know, by the book, by the rules and regulations and all of that. So you can't have too many people. Um, so there are limited numbers. So you do have to go to um, go to Mary at the Five Bells who will um, book your ticket. But it's well worth coming along. And, um, you know, so there's one to one, there's kind of like a ticketed event, first of all. So it's like an audience event. And then um, after that is one-to-one -one readings. So they're always really popular. Why does this keep happening? So I wonder if it's loose or something. It's like my, um, my light stops working. Sorry about my bosoms. Um, turn that, actually. Let's plug, I'm going to plug that in somewhere else because it keeps doing it. So if I plug it into the, uh, I plug it into the thing at the side, you know, my PowerPoint, my long plug, and, um, and it just randomly goes off whenever it feels like it. So if I turn it on here, I think that'll be better yeah I'm gonna look very anemic today so get get off mo he's a little bugger that's better that's better so it's not so bright in your face I've put um, a scarf on oh. can you stop being a little bugger please He's flicking all the cards all over the place. <laughs> oh dear. Pets, they say never work with uh, pets or children, but I think it's the funniest myself. I think it's uh, hilarious. Right, so I've got a little bit of pain in my chest at the moment and it's, it's to do with the hernia or the double hernia that I've got, hiatus hernias. Um, they really make me feel uncomfortable. So if it gets too bad, I will have to take my bra off and then make sure that the camera doesn't go anywhere above, you know, below that bit. So you can't see. <laughs> I'll see how I go. But at the moment, there's a lot of pressure there. Of course, a, a bra doesn't help, does it? Ladies, ladies know, ladies do know. Okay, so let's have a look and see if there's anybody about on Facebook. Who's about? Two comments. <laughs> it's Vera. Um, long time OC, he wants his treats. He does, he does want his treats. Right, that's it, I've got to take it off. Otherwise I'm not gonna be able to get through these readings um, because it's like the underwire bit pushes straight into this double hernia. So, um, yeah, um, I'll be back in two seconds, okay? Be back in two, take my bra off. Can you ladies at home just take your bra off in, in solidarity for me as well? That would be great. That would be really good if you can all do that. That'd be great. So, um, got a good idea. Vera, what are you doing right now? Would you like to come on here and do some astrology readings with me? Do you fancy that, Vera? 
I'm going to give her time to answer that. Um, because I think you could come on. You <laughs> you haven't put a bra on all week, Di. That's good. <laughs> look at look at Vera's face. <laughs> come and do some astrology readings with me, Vera. I'll send you the link. It's just, you know, I like to throw people in the deep end. That's what I like to do. It's all good. It helps. It does help. So you can you can all let everybody know what Vera's readings are like. Just going to restart a computer. OK, right. Well, it'll give me time to find the Zoom link to this. Go into that, Zoom. Okay, so I have a Patreon page, everybody. Um, I'm excited about. There are some really good, I think they're good, good, you know, prizes and things. Um, are they prizes? Yeah, there's some good things going on, um, you know, from um, a get together. So that is for all tiers. Um, it's like a, once a month I will get together with everybody and uh, we you, we can kind of pull cards for each other, uh, we can chat, you know, that sort of thing. It's just for the, the Patreon people, okay? So um, there's that. And then um, I'll go through the tiers with you in a minute once I've kind of got myself comfortable. Just going to send this to Vera. Um, I do I do like to chuck chuck people in it, but only because I feel that it would be good for them. Yeah. So Vera, I've just sent you the link for you to come on in. Um, I've sent it to rising wolf star one okay just so you know right obviously i'm not going to do this on camera so i'm going to just hide for a minute and then i'll be back in two seconds okay you'll still be able to hear me but um yeah and um, because otherwise i'm not going to get through the uh, astrology today it will be impossible yeah. So how is everybody out there? How is everybody? Has everybody had a good day? What time is it in Eastern? So it's 6 p.m. Eastern, isn't it? 6 p.m. Eastern. So what would that be Pacific? That would be 3 p.m. Pacific time. Um, I don't know the ones in between. That is much more comfortable. Yeah, when it when it flares up, it flares up, and it's um, it's not easy. And if anybody else has ever had a hiatus hernia, but the doctor said to me that they're the largest he's seen. They are. They called them giant. So it's like, well, right, they're giant hernias, right, go away and lose half your body weight and then we'll operate on you. Okay, yeah, that's easy. Yeah, that's simple. I'll go and do that then. Yeah, no problem. So I think it's an excuse not to operate myself. Um, right, okay. I can now safely come back on and no one knows any different. Fantastic. Oh, here comes Vera. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you like me throwing you in the deep end, don't you, Vera? No. <laughs> Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It would be good for you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I gotta wait till she's ready eating. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I'll just need to go through a few things first anyway, so so that's fine. Um, okay, so um, let me go through this. Hold on a minute. I've got all my notes here. Oh, great. Sorry, nearly throwing the computer oh, around there. There, okay. That, that, that could be expensive. Yeah, that's not so good, is it, to do that? No. Do you know what? I hate it when I've had a clear up and I clear away everything, I then can't find anything. Well, then the clear up was so good. Yeah. And in a way that you think, well, if I put it this way, I'll find it. Now, why did I bother doing that? Yeah. So let me go through. Let me find it. I can find it on here. Um, reduce that down. She, she's got your back on that. Oh, yes. Uh... Okay, I've got it here. Okay, so I can reduce that down. Um, I can then do, do this. Okay, so I decided long and hard, um, people kept telling me um, that I do a lot of things for free and that why don't I have a Patreon page? Um, because that way then, um, you, know, um, you know, some people, if they can, they can support me. Um, so I then thought to myself, well, I've got nothing really to offer. Do you know what I mean? What, what can I do? So um, I spoke to Greg and he said um, that I can probably offer a lot more than he does. Um, but he, he, he's, his packages are brilliant. Um, you know, he does a lot of these live kind of conversations, insiders club and everything else. We, we, when we're doing this, we never feel as if we give enough. So we're always ultra critical of ourselves um, and Greg's no different. Um, so basically, um, so this is what I decided to do. So these are the tiers. So the $1.11 is called the magician's, um, the magician's level. Um, he decided on the tarot cards, uh, which I thought was quite fun. Um, so that is a monthly video chat. So it's when we basically all get together, um, we can pick cards for each other, um, chat around ideas. You can ask me um, for advice on um, your psychic development or anything like that. And we can just hang out basically. So that's once a month. So all tiers get that, no matter what. Um, so then you've got the Hierophant one, let the teaching begin. So $11.11 .11 per month um, is going to be obviously the monthly chat, but it will also be videos from the classes and workshops that I do. Um, so it means that you'll be able to view. Um, it's a bit like being a fly on the wall for the classes. So um, they're not you know, just tutorial ones. They literally are um, as we go ahead. So you will get some probably a bit of smart and a bit of humour in there as well, because um, that's what they are. Um, not all of them, obviously, but we just like to we like to be real and it's a family and you're, what you're doing is seeing a spiritual family hanging out together, um, teaching and learning things and progression in your psychic development. So. Um, so yeah, so that's the, the Hierophant level. Then you've got the star level, which is let your inspiration begin. This is 22, 22 per month. Um, and this is where I send you a mystery gift out to you. So it's just a um, kind of a little, little present that is sent to you. It's a, a spiritual uh, feel to it, um, or it might be crystals or something like that. So it's a it's, it's that there's a mystery gift and it gets posted to you. And that's 22 22 a month. Um, so then you get the video chat and you get the classes and workshops videos as well. And then you've got the world one, which is 33 33 per month. Um, it's the monthly video, the classes and workshops, the mystery gift, 
and it's also a recorded mini reading okay from me um, and I will then send that over to you so I record it um, as in a voice recording um, and I'll then um, email it over to you and you can play it like a mp3 um, so yeah so that's kind of the the idea of the, the Patreon page and um, if there is anybody who can and is able to support me I would greatly appreciate it um, if you can't then that's good as well just send some love energy over um, whenever I'm doing teaching and things like that that is good enough that is good um, so the things that I do are Monday classes uh, Monday classes are five uh, five pounds which works out around seven dollars I think it might be nearly eight now I'm not sure what is the what is the um, currency thing now five pounds now it's still seven dollars seven dollars it is so um, so that's still the same um, and that is um, every Monday 7 30 p.m UK time um, 2 30 p.m eastern time 11 30 a.m pacific time um, and you can uh, pay for that by by going for, you can pay for any of my classes or things um, or a donation anything uh, by going to guiding angels of bt internet.com or you can pay via the website psychicalley.net okay um the links to the classes um i will put up um, and send them over to you if you would like you to um saturday most saturdays i do a workshop not all but most um i need to know what you want me to teach first of all and there is a list of all of the classes that also go on facebook so you can and choose um, which classes you want and whichever classes you want um, the, as I've got enough numbers for that particular workshop then I will run that workshop so that's kind of how I'm doing it um, I am taking names at the moment for uh, especially for the new tarot um, so Vera has taken the tarot uh, one and a lot of the other people have and they are now professional readers they're out there doing doing it um for real so um you know you can you can use it as a change of uh, career you know you, you don't have to have um you know you don't have to be in that rat run energy you can actually do something different um and then sunday events uh we usually not every sunday but most sundays uh we usually have a um a medium a clairvoyant um a guest a speaker or a teacher okay those come on um, and uh, that I'll let you know who they are uh, we can always um, you can also go on the mailing list and I do a raffle for once a month for people who are on the mailing list um, and uh, you get a, um, a chance that the, the raffle just by uh, a thank you uh, for being part of the mailing list and I promise you I don't hound you with lots and lots of daily emails um, it's usually about once a week if that um, I just send you over what's happening um, that week um, going ahead okay so um, yeah you're automatically put on that uh, so if you wanted to be part of the mailing list then just send me a little message with your email address and I will add you onto there um, okay so Greg has uh, got uh, his tie-dye t-shirts, the ladies' t-shirts, they're still ten dollars. Oh, they're they're down from fifteen to ten dollars. Um, and um, okay, Vera, uh, yeah, so they're down for um to ten dollars. Um, they are slim fit, so if you wanted them a little bit bigger, then you need to order the next size up. But they're beautiful. They they um all the t-shirts are made using uh quartz crystal sand 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sand and um, crystals as well so um, and lots of love and they take about two days to, to make the process takes so um, yeah uh, pop along to um, in5d.net uh, to grab your t-shirt now um, Greg has also got his patreon and believe me it's worth it's worth it's really worth it um, you know he does lots of uh, wonderful um wonderful things positivity um oozes out of him when he's doing his uh, spirit chats and uh, 
his insiders club so um, you can go over and support him as well for as little as one dollar eleven a month um, so that's uh, patreon um, patreon.com forward slash in 5d okay and if you wanted to uh, support myself it's uh, patreon.com forward slash psychic alley okay um, so um, at the moment it's still the the offer is for um, there's ten dollars off a reading if you've already had a reading with me or attended any of the classes um, so they are um, ten dollars off and uh, so instead of um, eighty dollars they are seventy dollars um, also um, just for this next week up until next Sunday. Um, so they, it is um, the extra 30 minutes. So instead of an hour, it is for um, 90 minutes. So instead of six minutes, 90 minutes uh, for the same price. Okay, so it's $80 for new people or it's $70 for um, people that have already um, had a reading. Okay, for rebooks. Okay, that's enough about all of that. So, um, so yeah, what I'm going to do now is do the astrology readings. And I've just um, chucked it over to Vera to see if she wants to do some uh, predictions as well, as I thought that would be good for her. Do you like my new mug? It's pretty, isn't it? Mm, it's a bit heavy, but... Mm. And the drink goes cold quickly as well which is a bit of a bummer, but um, I just top it up with hot water. So how do you feel about this then, Vera? Are you ready? Almost. Almost? Okay, right. <laughs> so, um, so obviously we're just doing little ones. Um, what is the date? So 16th, so we're doing the 16th through to? It's, it's, for me, it's, it's the 17th. <laughs> yeah. 16th through to the 23rd. So 16th to the 23rd of May. Okay. to the 23rd of May. Right, so uh, sends lots of love out to Vera. But obviously, it is a little bit daunting um, doing I've never, these. I've never, I've never done anything for, for Cody XN site. No. Um, Shall, shall I get a uh, message addition to it? Like a guidance? Yeah. You from do. The sh shaman dreams. I think, I think you should do whatever you feel, honestly. Um, you should just go with it and um, enjoy yourself, basically. So we're going to start off with, um, let me just get... That? It's good to have a big desk, a dinner table. Yeah. But the cabinet is a little bit further. <laughs> we're starting off with the um, air signs, okay? So we are starting off with Aquarius, everybody. Okay, so Vera, Aquarius. So uh, do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? You just start and I can... I'll shuffle and then if it's a guidance card or something, just as a message, it will pop out. Okay. All right. So Aquarius. Okay. So I'm going to do, um, there'll be three predictions beginning, middle and end of the week for you. Um, so let's start off with the beginning of the week. Okay. So this is the week um, the 16th through to the 23rd of May, okay? There 
this. Okay, I think I'd have to put my fan on. Right, okay, so um, I'm picking up here. Um, there is links around, now the Empress card has got various different meanings, okay? And especially when you're doing for so many people. If I was dealing with just one person, I'd be able to pinpoint and see what this Empress actually means to that particular person. But there's probably a variety of different meanings um, all over this, um, the Aquarius. Okay, so, um, right, so the Empress can mean fertility. It can mean pregnancy. It can mean um, things coming to fruition, if it's linked with money. It can mean your mum, you being a mum, or somebody being motherly or nurturing. So with that bearing in mind, okay, um, if I said to you that there is a bit of a controlling energy around this, or somebody who likes to um, take charge, they like to get the job done, they don't like it when people are kind of fumbling around and not doing what they said they were going to do or not doing things quick enough. OK, so they haven't got much patience. That doesn't mean to say that they're a nasty person. It can just mean that they um, are very direct. OK, this particular person. Now, this energy obviously is see what I mean about the um, it might mean pregnancy for one. It might mean this linked with a job. Does that make sense? Because we said about things being fertile, ready to, um, you know, ready to develop, okay, into something. Um, they are talking about also somebody new coming in. Um, so there's new energy around this. So this could mean, um, you know, that somebody else is coming in and maybe it's kicking off with the dynamics of this other person who is controlling it could mean that this person is new the controlling person that we're seeing here is new do you see what I mean and that is throwing the energy off but like I said this is going to mean you know once this starts to happen in your lives you'll know which one that is so I know I'm starting off with a bit of a cryptic one um, but there are too many meanings for me to pick just one okay so um, that's what I'm seeing at the beginning of the week. Um, do you want to just take over two seconds while I just put the fan on? Yeah, sure. And I have to turn my camera off each time I do it because I've got no... So, um, yeah. That's Back okay. Back in two seconds. <clears throat> well, um, for Aquarius, I have picked some from the shaman's dreams, like some guidance of... For, for the deeper wishes and for the beginning of the week <coughs> fell out the will o the wisp treasures hidden in the shadow and i think that's for aquarius for the beginning of the week there are things hidden deep in your side of your of you in your dreams that are ready to come out. And the middle of the week, it says the dreams are going to say, tell you, you're a deep diver. You're going to dive into the a task. So you have to discover in the beginning of the week, what are your deep dreams are? Where do you want to go? And then when you see it, you're going to towards the middle of the week, thinking about how to deep, dive, uh, dive deeply. But it can also, by the end of the week, give you a feeling of, because this is the root curl, and it says the disowned self. And... If you feel in the beginning of the week what you really dreamed about, you're diving deep in, it can give you a feeling like, I, who am I? The feeling I have been thinking I am this person my whole life. But when you discover 
you're really the things that are in the shadow it, deep within you that you're gonna have a little bit of a thought or okay who am i but together with the others you're going to work towards it and it will be, be worth it just to have a little doubt about who you really are but you're going to get to the person to the root from deep, deep down within lovely vera thank you very good thank you <laughs> <laughs> very good that's good um and i bet you these will follow on follow on with it um yeah so so this is linked to your deeper dreams Mm. It says it, the, the card deck is from the shaman dreams. So mm. shaman this, dreams. this is more to the spiritual side than the earthly side. Mm. Yeah. That's good to know. That's good. Okay. So Aquarians, we've still got, so this is the middle of the week for you. Okay. Um, I feel as if there's going to be, um, we've got the celebration of love, okay, card. Now, for some of you, it will mean literally love life. It will mean that there is a celebration or, you know, you're getting on really well with, the, with your partner. Um, it can mean a celebration for others, a celebration of family or friendships, okay, because not everybody's going to have this love life energy within their life. Um, but we've got that excited feeling of, um, of attraction. Um, sometimes we don't realize, um, sometimes we don't, we don't realize that, um, you know, we sometimes take what we've got for granted, just sort of mean. And, um, and this is going to be one of those times where it's like, I'm not taking it for granted. I'm very, very uh, grateful for what I have. Um, okay. I'm also seeing a meeting. It seems to be some sort of official meeting going on. Um, and I'm seeing this meeting linking with um, I'm a bit bored and I want to do something. So it's like uh, the meeting is linked to uh, finding a new way to go forward, uh, finding a new project, uh, doing something that you um, have always wanted to do. So that does kind of fit in with uh, what Vera was just saying. OK, and um, so this is going to be so it could be that you. Um, go and talk to somebody um, who can give you the advice on how to uh, take this one step further. You know, it starts off with an idea, like an inspiration. And then you think, right, how do I actually make this happen? I've always wanted to, I don't know, learn to meditate more. I've always wanted to read the tarot. I've always wanted to um, find my healing skills. Whatever it is, doesn't make sense that you've got going on. That's what you're going to be moving on to. Um, you're going to be feeling very much um, to do with, you know, uh, love life and emotions, like it's a homecoming feeling that you know the person very well. So there's a lot of familiarity. Um, even if you're meeting somebody new, you will, you, it's like you'll feel that you have already met them, you know, that you're reconnecting somehow. Okay. Um, Taking on responsibility of what you have done in the past so um sometimes we have to hold our hands up and say do you know what yeah i i did that um it wasn't good of me it was in the past i'm not doing this anymore so there may be some times where you're going to have to stand by what you've done uh, coming up this next week um aquarians um this is the reason why that you, you're going to be doing this is so that you don't take that guilt um, and the baggage onto the next level of your spiritual journey. Sometimes we have to let that go and say, I've, I've owned up, I said sorry, I've owned up, I've understood that was a lesson learnt and I don't have to keep reliving it. Um, so there's a complicated love life situation happening around the end of the week. Um, this can be yours or it can be somebody close to you. I feel that, um, it, you know, when it's it's affecting other people. OK, so this this kind of energy is so say if there's somebody in your house um, and, you've, you know, you're living in a couple situation and they have a row 
um, or a friendship circle um, and other people don't know what to do. Do you see what I mean? They don't want to get involved. They don't want to choose a side, um, but it's there anyway. The other thing is I'm picking up for you the end of the week, Aquarians, is stepping forward to do with training, learning and development. And I feel that I'm that was linked with the meetings that we had um, um, in the middle of the week, um, although the meeting can mean other things for other people. OK, so um, something to do with keys. Be careful with keys um, they're talking about. So um, try to put keys, keep them safe. Don't just chuck them down on the sofa. Um, because you're likely to have the keys fall down the back and then you you've lost them okay there's going to be a tendency for misplacing keys um sure they just showed me them, keys put them in good in your pocket not halfway because they'll fall out i see yeah i see some mm. uh, put them in the pocket but they're partially and and make a misstep and it's gone hmm yeah, this might save you a lot of trouble. <laughs> or down so, the drain, um, and then you need a magnet to get it out. Yeah, won't be good. <laughs> okay, so we've done Aquarius. Well done, Vera. So we're going to do Gemini now. Okay. I'm, I trust the guys. So, to what's everybody got? Who who is who's in the chat? Who wants to? Come say hello. What birth signs have we got in the uh, out there in uh, in Facebook? Then how is Vera doing? Give us some encouragement. Um, I think she's doing really really well. So it would be nice to get some feedback for Vera. Okay, so Vera, do you want to go first? Yeah, because that one popped out before you started shuffling. Okay then, so we're doing Gemini's now. This one, I feel, for the Gemini. Well, <laughs> for the Gemini, I got the jeweled web connectivity. Um, This is about connecting with others, but not just face to face, but all over the world. With just only your energy intention. Sending out a lot of love and healing. And towards the middle of the week, because I think that some will need to learn uh, to live like a drifter, experiencing life as it comes. Don't overthink, don't overdo it, don't think, oh, tomorrow is going to, I'm going to do this and this and this. No, just let it come, because every, anything that comes on your path, you have to deal with it right there, right then, not let it wait tomorrow, it comes. Mm -hmm. Don't control it. Here, I've never seen this one. This going to towards the end of the week, and it says the vanishing mirror. Ego mm -hmm. sublimation. And I uh, immediately see the words that for most people, which are the egos are very strong, are going to soften up. You're still allowed to have your ego but it's also how, how do you work with your ego? Because you can let your ego take control mm. or ego support you, what you feel and what you do. And I think that's going to be together throughout the week. You're going to connect and that, that's, that's an insight, your spirit, spirituality, connecting more, take life as it comes, experience it the way it comes, don't fight it. Yeah, but that, that, what comes today that, no, I, that I was expecting that, no, it comes now, 
take it. Mm. Just hold your hands, mold it. Because that's also gonna soften up your ego. So if you have a strong ego that you think, no, this is not possible. No way. This is not right what I'm thinking. Nope. It's going to work together with your spirit spirituality. That's what I strongly feel. That's going throughout middle, beginning, middle, and end. It's going to blend in, into each other. Thank you. Good, good. Okay, just to, just in response to Di, because Di said Aquarius here, zero love life, so this is not for me. Um, I did say in there that if it isn't to do with love life, then it will be to do with friendships and family celebration of love. Okay, so um, we have to make sure that we cover everybody. So for some people, it will be love life. For some other people, it will be a celebration of friendships family I feel um feelings of maybe spiritual love i feel for for die strongly more even more self-love mm. yeah because it can be there also with yourself with your animals or just the nature or the home where you're in yeah yeah Okay, so I'm going to do Gemini's. Okay, so let's have a look and see. Um, Amanda said you're doing really well. So I see it. I got the phone here. Good. Just see the top of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so Gemini's. So this is for the 16th to 23rd of May. I have to say that with each one because it, it tunes uh, me into the date. Do you see what I mean? Uh, tunes my guides in so that I can give um, readings for the future, um, as in when. Well, I should write that down to say it. <laughs> okay. So for the start of the week, Gemini, you're going to be very, very spiritual. There's a lot of spiritual energy um, around you, Gemini. It's like... Um, a realization that um, you're not you're not walking this life path on your own. That you have a lot of a spiritual team energy going on, uh, which is going to actually make you feel um, so much more positive, um, so much more grounded. Okay, that's how you're going to be feeling. It's going to be a busy start to the week. I'm seeing lots of hard work, so. That could be your own projects, or that could be linked with work, um, depending on who is uh, is looking at this particular um, reading. Um, but it's so I'm picking up on, you know, when you feel as if everything is step by step. It's like um, a process. I've got to do this, and then this, and then this, and then this. Just you know I mean, so it's like going along stepping stones um, to reach the end goal. Okay. Um, there's a feeling of everything seems to be a little bit up in the air. Everything is on hold. Um, so sometimes we have to be patient and just keep working um, and the end result will come about. Um, so it's like just keep going forward, keep going forward. And eventually um, what your dream, you know, your dreams will start to um, emerge. So um, it seems to be it's all about work. Um, but know that your spiritual team is there. Make sure you keep putting in your, um, your dreams and your wishes, um, you know, because this will then uh, make these happen and manifest them um, quicker. Okay, so uh, the middle of the week, um, middle of the week, you know, um, we were talking about die, feeling as if, you know, there was self-love going on with die. Well, there's definitely that in the Gemini uh, reading as well. Uh, we always have a theme every single time when um, I'm doing the astrology. It seems to be the same cards that keep coming up or the same energy, the same message um, that everybody's going through. Um, so let's just um, think to ourselves that it might be. Um, 
it might be linked with um, you know self love, looking after the self, looking after you, um, understanding what your needs are and bringing those forward. Um, there is a, a lot of re um, you know reacquaintance. Okay, so getting together with people that you have once um, connected with in the past, either um, online or a message, or it can be, you know, spirit people, you know, communicating with the spiritual, uh, with your spiritual family. Um, but there's definitely reacquaintance and kind of re, uh, you know, going through the old times, you know, this is, do you remember this, you know, when we did this, do you remember that, you know, um, I can't believe we got up to this, that sort of energy, um, you know, going over things, reuniting. Um, there is somebody around you, just be careful of this person um, who has got a sharp tongue. Um, this person can be very, um, you know, dominant for no reason, you know, it's like they've got to be the winner. Uh, they've got to be the person who um, achieves the most, gets the most, has done better or bigger than you. Um, so this particular person may drive you bonkers, okay? Um, but uh, you know they can't they can't help it. It is um, it is a sign of insecurity, okay? Just remember remember that. Linked with you emotionally, um, what I'm seeing is that the, the message is honouring the truth. Um, so once again, that's very similar to what I had uh, for the Aquarius energies which is owning up, being accountable to what you've done in the past, admitting that, yeah, I might not have done this right. Um, you know, that was an accident, um, but, you know, I know better now. Um, I didn't know any better back then, but now I do. Um, so it's, you know, it doesn't mean to say that, you know, you're just saying sorry for the sake of it. Sometimes, um, you know, there was a very big um, reason why you couldn't do what you did or you, you know, you didn't. So um, it's not always our fault, but it is sometimes the right time um, to admit uh, certain things, um, you know, because sometimes you don't know when you're going to need people. You don't know when sometimes, you know, you, um, if we cut the, the bridges, if we cut the past off, um, and then later on, we then need um, need that person. We're going to regret it. We're going to regret um, not keeping those old friendships um, going. Okay. Um, so the end of the week. End of the week. It's like you're at you're standing at this kind of shall I go in this direction or this direction? Um, you're looking at things in black and white, either literally or emotionally, uh, weighing up the pros and the cons. And I feel that you're having to deal with things head on. Uh, there's going to be one of those stages in your life where uh, there's no dithering about. Um, you've got to just make your choice and go for it. And there's no time to look back either. It's just going to be very direct. Um, and they are talking about use your psychic energy, use your psychic beliefs, um, tune into your, your spiritual awareness because that is going to help you. Uh, with the decision that you're going to need to make um, around the um, end of next week. Okay, so it'll be closer to the 23rd of May. All right, so there we go. We're going on now to Libras. So this is my love. Um, and this is also my, um, what is it? My, my rising sign. Okay, so this is my rising sign. And it is Greg's. Greg's a triple Libra. So what have we got for, for him and the other Librans? Shall we do everyone that now you do first and then next one i'll do first you want me to yeah yeah, yeah. happy with that let's, let's oh, switch it every all right i'm i'm good 
Okay, so we're going to go to Libra. Let's have a look what's happening with Libras. Mm -hmm. So 16th through to the 23rd of May. Beginning of the week for Librans, okay. Um, I'm seeing you breaking free from any restrictions that you have felt that you are in, okay? So if somebody seems or somebody or something seems as if it's holding you back, like you're gonna go forward and then you get pulled back like on a bungee rope, okay? Um, that is now breaking, okay? Um, and you'll get, there's a lot of freedom energy um, going on there. It does feel as if there is links with being home, being at home, being a hermit, holding on, a feeling of letting go of uh, sometimes walking away from someone or something that is causing you distress. And that be, might be why uh, you need to break free from. Um, so I feel that there is um, there's a heaviness um, emotionally. I wish I wasn't seeing this. I wish I was seeing something, something else. Um, but it, it feels as if there is, um, you know, the separation energy, okay, going on. And the separation uh, is with, you know, this somebody holding you back or something holding you back um, and detaching yourself from it, being free, okay. Um, by the middle of the week, um, middle of the week, there is, um, you know, when you have to let your emotions flow, um, that doesn't mean to say you're going to be crying or anything. For some of you, it might be. Um, but sometimes we have to release it like a like a, a pressure valve, okay, that sometimes needs to be re released. Um, and we've got here the, the letting go again. So it's like I've got to break free from um, this feeling. So there's something that is upsetting you and it keeps upsetting you. Um, and sometimes we've got to say, okay, I'm not going to allow that um, person or that energy or that situation to keep upsetting me. I'm going to remain grounded. I'm just going to see what happens. Um, I'm just going to ride on through life uh, and, and drift. So what's, what's what I'm picking up is that drifting card, again, that you got for me, Vera, um, earlier. And um, I'm now picking that up here. So I don't know if uh, you're picking up that card, uh, but it feels like that. OK, um, there's somebody with a bit of a sting in their tail. OK, um, at the end, uh, sorry, the, the middle of this week, somebody who's a bit spiteful and um, they say things that can be um, it's because of jealousy. And you're seeing this jealousy rising up from them. You're not going to like what you see, um, unfortunately, but I do feel that this person, um, they can't it's like they can't control their jealousy. Their jealousy just keeps bubbling up. Okay, so um, there's a little bit of that. They've got a bit of a sting. Okay, by the end of the week, though, you're going to love this, Greg. By the end of the week, I am picking up the sunshine. I'm picking up happiness. I'm picking up excitement. I'm picking up everything that you could have dreamed of. Um, everything is going to be so much better. You've got the strength. You've got the courage. Everything is, is um, beaming out. We've also got, um, you know, keeping something to yourself or, um, you know, not telling everybody. Maybe there's some, something to do with secrecy or, or confidentiality issues going on. But apart from that, I'm seeing public acclaim and triumph and, and good news, okay, around you. Um, the healing element is um, you've got the heaven on earth card, uh, which does mean that, you know, why can't you have it all? You know, Librans out there, why can't you have it all? Um, don't you deserve it? Of course you do. Um, so keep believing that you do deserve heaven on earth. The, you know, for everybody, this is all astrology science. We believe that we will have heaven on earth here. Um, and heaven on earth is coming. Um, just keep believing that. Um, yeah, stop thinking about all the things that have gone wrong or could have gone wrong or just what I mean. Shoulda, woulda, coulda isn't going to get you anywhere. The future, the power 
and the, the there's only power in the future, no power in the past at all. Okay. Well, for the beginning of the week, from the shaman's dream, so this is the spiritual part. And I have to say, it is what you this, yeah, your heart's desire, spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. It's it's lingering. It's it's dreaming of the moving towards the adventure to have a new experience in your life. But in the middle of the week, you find yourself you you're hitting the brakes a little. Just to stop and they say me talks repairing the body mind and spirit because to go forward and that's around the middle of the week and you literally say okay i gotta center myself go back go within clear all the old stuff get it out of your system and when you work towards that you suddenly start to feel towards the end of the week that your life is going the way you want to go because out of the cards, the whale song, it's resonating. The things you've been thinking about, you, the ideas you have are, are coming forward and you think, yep, that, that's it, that's it. Doesn't mean you're ready to go it, to do it, but the ideas finally start to feel the way you feel is good for you. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. That's can I ask I everybody who's out there, please can you share these readings? Share them on your page or share them on other people's uh, pages, you know, like um, readings page, that sort of thing. Um, we would really appreciate it. That would be great. Um, I'm just going to share it on our, uh, we've got a page actually, I don't know if anybody else wants to, um, it's called um, readings, um, it's like free readings, oh, what is it called? I know you can't remember your blooming. Um, your professional? No, no, I've got another page that is lovely. It is, well, it's a group, actually. Free. Giving, that's it. It's called Giving Readings and Advertising for Professional Psychics. So um, if you wanted to, um, you can, you know, anybody out there, because there's a lot of places that you can't, um, you know, you're doing free readings, but you're not allowed to actually say, here's my phone number if you want a, a, a reading, which I think is silly, you know, at the end of the day. Why, why can't you advertise yourself? Um, so, yeah, so that's um, that's there. So I'm just going to share it on there as well. Um, I think you're quicker. <laughs> think. Yeah. I don't know about that, Vera. <laughs> That's it. Done. Okay. So we're now going to be going on to different ones. Do you know what? Um, no. On Facebook, I've seen the, it's got a message from Greg, but on my phone when I'm looking, hello, my darling, um, it's, it's hidden his message on my phone. It's not actually not come up on my phone. Isn't that funny? But I'm, I'm seeing it on my laptop, but not my phone. Aren't they assholes? They, they stop people from seeing them. How bizarre. Yeah. Crafty little, little buggers. Okay, so we're gonna do fire signs now, okay? Um, so we'll start off. You're a fire sign, aren't you, Vera? Yep. Probably the last half of the water line again. We will That's start Leo. with Leos. Then we do Sagittarius and then we do Aries. Do you want to go first? Yeah, sure, because they're 
spicy again. <laughs> okay, good. For Leo, from the 16th to the 23rd of May. Okay, you want out. Oh, and this one too. And this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Leo, on the spiritual path, and I love the, I love the card. Mm -hmm. It says joyful muse, inspiration. Nice. So you're gonna kick off the week with f spiritual joy and inspiration, uh, ideas, uh, creativity, whatever that brings you joy, makes you well jump your energy way up sky high because that's what we all need right now we do. is to make sure we are our energy is so high that even if they try to kick us down our energy hit that even if you feel low you're still way higher than they can or that they want you to bring because yeah. they want you to bring you to the floor but because your energy is up here if you feel low you're still up here at least yeah so you're oh. leo's gonna kick it off that's even and you know it's the way, middle of the week it says the varda gate bolt step forward because you're feeling so happy so joyful your inspiration that you're just gonna go for it during the middle of what the heck i'm gonna do it and i feel a little bit before you do it like really can i really okay i'm doing it because by the end of the week radical acceptance beloved mm. all your fears all the things that you doubted that people will like what you're doing and maybe in the past it has been not accepted but this is going to happen for you instead of that they say uh, i don't know because there's they feel all of a sudden all the love you put in so till the end of the week just put that picture in your mind because that's where it's going and no the card is not in 3d but when i move it it, it looks like it is a little bit beating mm. <laughs> yeah sorry it's getting in my way <laughs> i'm nearly knocking it flying so well done vera joyful you get more and more confident. It's all good. Little steps going. It's all good. And yeah. Also, just like a little locomotive, I have to build up the steam. Of course, it's, you know, I'm asking you to do something that you've never done before. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's. Um, Even I, I got the. Why are you doing this? <laughs> okay, I'll pick. I'll, I'll take. I'll relieve myself in the backyard. <laughs> I've changed my cards over. Okay, so for Leo's. Okay, let's have a look and see. Here's my brother. Oh, hi, Jake. Love to Nikki. No, it's my big brother. Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. Right. Okay. Now my phone doesn't go. Are you not seeing that message then? Nope. Isn't it weird? Honestly, it's like the messages stop. Okay. Yeah. 
Right, I'm going to concentrate on Leo's. Okay, so Leo's, this is for the 16th to the 23rd of May. Let's have a look. Okay. I just had to restart. So the beginning of the week for Leo's, okay. Right, so those people who are, are on a spiritual uh, quest, a, a spiritual journey, I know we all are really, uh, but some people are more aware than others that they're on this. Um, this awakening is really gonna start to kick in, I would say around the beginning of the week for you Leo's. Um, it's, a, it's like you can see things in black and white. You can see what's what, okay? It's like, that's it. I'm going in this direction. I feel it, okay? And, um, and then you're going to stick to it. And it's linking with what your gifts are. For other people who aren't necessarily knowing about their, uh, their spirituality, um, I would say that you've got a decision to make over your future pathway, um, to do with life paths, you know, shall I go in this direction or this direction? So lots of choices and decisions um, about your life. And I feel that this is running through your mind. It could be that it, it, it may be to do with the fact that, you know, you're thinking these things, but you're not necessarily going to do anything about it. It could be just that you, you need to dissect. Okay, um, there's going to be messages coming from spirit. Uh, these messages are going to be very, very clear to you. Um, like uh, what some people call downloads, some people call, um, we we've got another, another dickhead. There we are, we've blocked it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, for some people it will be um, a spiritual journey, for other people it will be kind of, it, feels like a download, like information coming to you or a, a big um, idea about that's what I've got to do. Um, so that could be linked with your work. It could be linked with, you know, your everyday decisions on what you're going to do to keep busy. OK, um, I'm, I'm picking up a very spiritual female, um, especially in your life um, around the beginning of the week. This spiritual person has got a very uh, calming nature to them. This person, you know, is able to um, give messages to you and make you feel very um, as if you can you can do anything as if, you know, they believe in you. So this particular person um, is going to be around you the beginning of the week. Um, and I feel that they're going to be significant in your life um, and may continue on um, th through to the future with you. So it's a new person. Um, and this person, you know, will be um, important, okay, in your life. Around the middle of the week, I'm seeing study, learning, and development, okay? So there could be, you know, you uh, wanting to learn a different skill. Um, it can be training to do with work matters. Um, this can be education linked with a uh, school, um, that sort of thing. I'm seeing... Um, a lot of kind of thinking back to the future, thinking back to the past, um, thinking back to, you know, how things used to be and how much better things used to be um, uh, before all of the changes. You know, why can't it be like that, um, like it was? So I think we're all doing a lot of that is, um, you know, wanting things to go back to normal, if you like. Um, there is a sense here of... Um, feeling overwhelmed with your emotions um, in a happy way, um, feeling blessed, appreciating what it is that you have, looking around at your family and your friendships um, and enjoying the energy that they bring you. Okay, so, um, you know, sometimes we forget to be thankful for the little things in life, um, but that is going to be happening. I've got the urge to show the card. Okay, so this is going to actually means something um, visually to um, a lot of people linked with Leo's. Okay, so you've seen the kind of, um, it's like the man with the dog and then the, the child with the dog, so, uh, or the child with the puppy. So it could be that there is, um, you know, links with uh, a, a dog in the spirit world, you know, and thinking back to how it used, how that dog used to make 
everybody feel. It could be that somebody's thinking of getting a dog, do you see what I mean, who is a Leo, okay, and wanting to give a, a dog a really nice home. So um, look out for that uh, middle of the week. By the end of the week, end of the week, um, we have to take the good with the bad, okay, with things. And sometimes it gets a little, life gets a bit of a pressure um, coming up. And I feel that by the end of the week, Leos, there's going to be a bit of a pressure energy um, uh, linking to your ambitions and what it is that you want. Um, you're going to need to make a choice and a decision. Um, nothing's going to be, um, uh, nothing's going to go right until you finally make that choice. That That is the actual message here. Um, this feels as if you've got to choose uh, a job or choose the skill that you want to uh, develop in, or you've got to choose between this money and that money or where that's coming in and this isn't. Um, there's something to do with choices, um, you know, and again, I'll, I need to show the card. Um, so it's like, you know, you've got various different things, different ways of making money. And sometimes we have to deal with it and don't hold back anymore. Okay, so that's uh, Leo's. Hi, Lisa. Glad you could join us. Okay, so we're going on to Sagittarius now. Sagittarius. So, um, do you want to go first, Vera? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Over to you then. Well, Sagittarius, from the 16th to the 23rd of May, mm -hmm. about a bit spiritual guidance. Mm. Oh, I, you want me to put it that upside down this time, and this one. Okay, for the beginning of the week, <laughs> for Sagittarius, and it's a beautiful card, it says Sky Dancers, Surrender, <laughs> and to me that feels like, don't fight it. Don't go against the abilities, the skills you have, or the ideas you get in your, in your mind. Just surrender. Go. Go for it. Let it sink in. If you feel like dancing, go dancing. If you're not able to stand, just dance. Even though if you can't move. Because when you mind in your mindset, you dance, you still dance. Because sky dancers, yeah, you can see them glide, but you can also uh, dance with your spirituality. Towards the middle of the week, They advise you, take some quiet time. And somehow I'm drawn to the 11 also. 1-1. One, one. Not strong on the meaning on, the, on numbers, but I know this is a good number. Deep quiet, meditation and stillness. Go within. Don't be afraid to turn off your radio, your TV, or anything. Just you, your animals, nature, or just your home. Just breathe. And if that takes all day, breathe. Because you don't, most people think meditation is an action. But just sitting on the couch, Thinking, just breathe, is already meditating. Meditation, 
It's about going within. Because, and the minute I look at this card, I hear emotions. And it feels like it's going to, oh, your emotions are going to overflow, overwhelm, plenty. Don't be afraid of it. Just let it go. Let it come. Because any emotion that flows out that doesn't serve you anymore can be filled with love. And this is on the spiritual level. So this can also mean when you are um, on your spiritual path, that things that, that always helped you to do, say for example, okay, when I'm juggling this stone, I kick off my abilities. That stone you won't need anymore because it comes. It's going to clear. Old ways will change and new pathways will open. Because everything that's overwhelming, it overflow, it will go out and it's, it's clear. Thank you. You're welcome. Got a crafty um, little Twix. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I don't know how you call that in English. Well, it's sweet and gummy. It's not oh, gum. gummy. Gummy sweet. Mm. Keeps you going, doesn't it? When you're doing spiritual work. Mm. Okay, I'm right. So I'm hungry afterwards. I usually do, but I'm a bit peckish now. Um, didn't get a chance to get something to eat before. <laughs> so, okay, so um, let's have a look and see what's going on for Sagittarius from, from myself. So, um, Sagittarius, anyone Sagittarius out there? What birth signs have we got out there? What is your sun, moon and rising energies? Okay, so this is what's going to be happening the 16th to the 23rd of May. Okay, so, um, okay, so what I'm seeing um, starting off the week is um, we've got the three of wands. Um, three of wands to me is where you feel very proud of yourself. Hi, Sharon, in the chat there. Hello. Um, I think you should do it next week with me, Sharon. What do you think? <laughs> you know you wanna. <laughs> yeah, so I feel as if there's a celebration, a feeling of happiness, a feeling of excitement. Um, this feels very joyous inside. Um, so you should be very, very proud. Oh, she didn't say no. Uh, very, very proud of yourselves, um, Sagittarians. Um, there's somebody who is putting more effort in than another person in a relationship um, close to you. Okay, so it's like you're putting effort in um, and they, they are, but one person is putting more in. Um, so it's definitely out of balance. Um, and there's a real feeling of, I've got to get this back into proper balance. This feels as if it's not right. Um, now, um, this does feel as if there is a lot of, um, it's a lot of excitement though around yourself. So pro probably your spirit guides are saying, um, we're really proud of you for noticing, you know, this is you understanding your self-worth. Um, and that's a big thing, you know, it's a big thing to say, hold on a minute, I'm not being appreciated. Hold on a minute. This isn't fair. 
Okay, so, um, you know, there is a, a tearful energy around. So somebody who's tearful, somebody who is, um, you know, feeling as if they need more, um, more of a hug. Okay, so you'll be around uh, that person. Okay, around um, the beginning of next week, uh, Sagittarians. Okay. So um, the middle of the week, the middle of the week, um, you're, you've got so many decisions to make. There's lots of people who, um, you know, that there's a feeling of, I feel tormented by the amount of decisions that I've got to make, the amount of people who, if I make this decision, it's going to upset that person. If I make that decision, it's going to upset that one. There's a lot going on, and I feel that this is this is hard. Um, this is really hard for you to make uh, certain that you you're making the right decision. Hi, Sarah. So Sarah's got Sagittarian Moon. So this is for for you then, Sarah. Um, I feel that you're going to have to be outspoken once you've made your emotional choice. Um, and I'm sorry, but it is going to upset one person. Um, unfortunately. So one person will feel as if you've chosen um, badly or you've let that person down. There's nothing that you can do about it, unfortunately. Um, I know that you don't want to upset anybody, but you've got to take charge um, of this uh, situation uh, that you find yourself in at the middle of next week. Um, the, the chariot says that you're rushing forward um, and you're going to go in this certain direction um, that is going to, um, it's going to um, explode. So it's going to go into, um, you know, a decision on, you know, that, that then leads on to other things. Does that make sense? So um, I know it will feel as if it's, if, if it, you know, that it's heavy. Um, but you know when sometimes it's like once you've made the decision and everybody knows about it, it's better. It's like it feels better. I feel as if I'm back in charge of my own future. OK, um, so um, by the end of the week, this is how I know that it's going to be fine because I had the message it was going to be fine. And then the two cards has just turned up. Um, so you're going to be feeling like this. Just what I mean, completion and happiness within yourself. OK, so um, you know that this is the right thing to do. And you've got the sun. Um, so the sun is is where everything is brighter, um, better. You know, sometimes we have to make difficult, difficult choices. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, we have to look at the, the bright outcome. Um, and, you know, things might be in limbo, um, but, you know, then you know, we, we hang on in there, we hang on in there, we don't make the decision and we know we should make the decision and then it gets to the point where it's like, I've got to do it. I've got to decide, I've got to make the choice. I know it's going to um, affect a lot of people, but at the end of the day, um, my my feelings and my life is important too. Um, so that's what I see for you Sagittarians. Okay. So this is your sign now, Vera, isn't it? We're going to do Aries. Yep. So, oops. I just knocked everything flying. <laughs> oops. Well, mine wanted flying too. <laughs> Aries. Aries, mm. Aries. Okay. Sharon, yes, you missed Leo, I'm afraid. Uh, we did Leo um, before Sagittarius. Yes. Sorry, Sharon. Sorry. Okay, this is a little bit of spiritual guidance for Aries. Aries. For the week 16 through 23rd of May. Oh, they're telling me to pull from within. Okay. <laughs> mm. 
beginning of the week, the card came out again, the whale song, and that says it's resonating. And for Aries, I feel a lot of things you've been doing are coming together in the beginning of the week. All the ideas, all the practice, all things you've been doing on a spiritual level or just on the level of your creativity. And even though it's overwhelming, all the things you've been doing, everything you see, feel, you say, well, okay, I got this. This is me. Oh my God. But then the, by the middle of the week, I pulled out the falling angel. And it says spiritual narcolepsy. And that says to me, you've been working so hard on all the things you want to accomplish. That by the end of the week, it's so, you're so tired. It says, okay, you got to take a break, take a rest. Take a step back. Because all of a sudden, the things that uh, came natural to you are saying, we need a breather. I am, okay. I'm, yep, you got it. But at that moment, it says, just a moment of a break. But it's going to, towards the end of the week, it feels like it's going to be a lost compass. Like you're heading nowhere. But it's telling me you're getting back into integrity. It's working you to your, the true person you are. And when you go there, go within again. That integrity is going to kick off every single bit that you thought you didn't have. It's going to kick off. So um, the integrity, it means, you mean kick off, it will mean, what do you mean by kick off? Um, it's, it's everything. When, when, <clears throat> What, what, what I, the cards tell me is even though you have a moment of going down on your abilities or your creativity or the things that you do, yep. and when you go back to your integrity, because you'll have to get your bearings, where, where do you want to go? What, what, what direction do I want to go? Mm -hmm. I got it. You'll go for it. But then with so much integrity and, and, and everything is lined up so you can use it. So your skills kick off or you create, if you want to do the paintings, it will kick off. It's, if you really think when you're done, oh, I didn't know I had it in me. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That's good. And that, that was a little bit of brain fart. <laughs> That's good. Good, Vera. Yeah. You're doing really well. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so um, I so told for myself, Aries, it's not for me, um, it's for Aries. That's right. It's hard to read for yourself, but uh, oh. you can just detach and say this is this is it. Okay. Um so um, the beginning of the week for Aries, um, I'm seeing hard work. I'm seeing a need to get everything in order and um, just get on with it, okay? It's a task that you have uh, promised to do 
and you've just got to be blinkered and go for it. Um, it's no good trying to um, trying to think that someone else will do it for you or that sort of, because it, there's a real strong feeling of um, I need to I need to get on with this. Um, I've got to be focused. It's a bit like you know when your mind keeps uh, drifting into doing other things or going other in other directions. Um, and instead of kind of training your mind to say, okay, um, let's just do it. Okay, so um, the feeling it, the feeling of everything is moving forward. Okay, um, everything is is moving on. And I feel that um, to do with the truth is energy, um, you will watch and see that everything is moving forward. There will be a wonderful reveal um, happening um, this week, okay, um, between the 16th and the 23rd. Um, it will be that proof that you needed um, um, that, that things aren't just, you know, hearsay, that you're not just kind of hearing a, a rumour about or, um, or I wonder if that's true. It will be, it is true um, and you will see it. So there's something wonderful happening next week regarding that. Um, in kind of reality terms, um, your life is moving forward, even though you feel as if you're just plodding along and not making any progress. Now, these two cards came up in one of the other um, readings that I did for um, another birth sign. Um, so there, there seems to be a very similar timeline going on with them as well. Um, with this one, though, for Aries, um, you've got to battle to get through. It's not time to sit back and wait. It's time to go forward. Um, don't hold back. Um, you know, your hard work is paying off, even if you can't see it instantly. Um, it will be paying off. OK, and um, there's still lots to do yet. So, so remain focused and try not to get distracted um, by other things or other people. Okay, because everything's moving on. Okay, by the middle of the week, um, new beginnings with people. I feel that there's going to be um, conversations um, happening with um, a new person who you're going to feel very drawn to. Now, this could be um, a friend or this could be something more. Um, but I'm seeing this connection um, and this connection is going to start up because of feelings of being uh, left out, being pushed out, being, uh, you know, when somebody freezes you out of their life um, and you start to feel um, negative towards um, other people who have done this. Um, and then you start a conversation with another person who is equally uh, feeling the same way as if they have been, um, you know, uh, pushed out, pushed to the side. Okay, so um, this this energy uh, between the two two of you is going to be strong, and there's a lot of kind of um, mutual respect going on between you and this person. Okay, um, and it is to do with feeling as if. Um, you know, being pushed out. You're going to then set some boundaries up and you're going to be feeling, okay, this is okay, this is not okay. Um, from now on, I'm all right with this, but I'm not all right with that. So it's like you're making those kind of like silent barriers where nobody else knows the barrier is there or the restrictions there, but you do, okay? Um, it's like you're making a promise to your inner child. OK, you're also thinking about your future and your future is getting quite exciting um, because you're seeing that um, things are there's it's like your guides are really proud of you and they're really proud of you. And, re and it's like they're seeing you ready to go on to another level, ready to push forward. Um, everything seems to be, you know, needing to go on to, you know, push you to the next part of your journey 
um, and you're going to be enjoying that, um, enjoying that really, enjoying that um, that challenge. There's something earthly um, to do with um, contract signatures and paperwork coming at you um, by the end of the week. Um, now this could be um, official stuff. It could be um, things that you've got like forms or documents that you've got to uh, sign or get organized and sort out. Um, it does feel as if, you know, the, the pressure is there to, to get on with it um, and you might not want to do it. So it's kind of like an avoidance feeling. Um, and when somebody kind of says, no, it's got to be done, uh, let's just get on and, and do it. Or, you know, you're, you're saying to yourself, your higher self, come on, let's get on and just get it done. Um, I don't want to delay anymore. Um, there are challenges around people returning um, from the past. People that you once had in your life and you were very close to um, is going to be moving on into the, it's like, you know, they've drifted, you've drifted, they're coming back. So there's going to be a reuniting uh, feeling there. Um, and this reuniting feeling is, um, it's, it's one of those where you don't, it's awkward and then it flows and it's fine again. Do you sort of mean? It's like to start off with, you don't know how it's going to go, um, but then it's all right. So yeah, it, it's, it, it is meant to be, it is a challenge and everything will be fine. Um, spiritually, they're saying to you that you need to rise above um, complications. It's not, um, don't limit yourself to, to, to hold grudges, do you see what I mean, uh, with anything, because the actual lesson is all about um, being carefree um, and stepping into your own uh, positivity, stepping into your own um, ability to be spiritual, um, not just by words, but by feelings. So there you go. That's what I see for Aries. Um, and that Vera saw, was yours similar, Vera, would you say? I think it is. Uh... On that track? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so that's Aries. So we're now going to be doing water signs, unless we've got some more. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll give you a ring, Jake. Yeah, I'll phone you. He's working, obviously working nights. So um, that'll be better for me being on my time frame. <laughs> so I'm on American time, aren't I? So <laughs> that would work out really well. Okay. So, um, well, you, you saw a comment and it's, I d didn't show up with me. Say so what? What'd you say? Well, you said, yeah, well, we'll give you a ring. I don't see the comment. Did you not? It's <laughs> my brother saying I'm working till 6 a.m. if you fancy a chat later and Monday to Friday next week, 10 till 6. Nope. It's not on there. Nope. <laughs> We're doing Scorpio first. Oh, hi, Trisha. So we did a wonderful workshop this Saturday, everybody. We did uh, crystals and chakras, and we threw in their auras as well. Um, so everybody saw different auras. And um, we went through, um, everybody kind of listed what kind of ailments they had in their body or what accidents they've had in the past, like if they've broken an arm or a foot or whatever, um, they, they wrote that down. And then the other people scanned the, the person's aura um, and their body and they picked up on um, each other's ailments and things. So, um, yeah, that was just part of the workshop. But yeah, it went really well. So um, 
yeah, really, really pleased with, with that. Um, and I'm hoping everybody enjoyed it. Vera came, didn't you, to the workshop. So did uh, Tricia, who's in the chat there. Um, so anyway, um, we learned a lot about crystals and um, how to use them linking with chakras and also pendulums. So, okay, so I think Vera's getting ready for Scorpio. Scorpio. For the upcoming week from the 16th till the 23rd of May. Yes. This one's out. This one was out. And this one. For Scorpio. Well. <clears throat> It's looked like the spiritual guidance wants to let you, Scorpio, kick off with some meat talks, repairing the body and mind. And I hear something like that it's been very, yeah, emotional or, or loads of energy changing and and that you'll live meaning in the beginning of the week, you have to say to yourself, okay, gonna take some time for myself, even if it is a couple of minutes or longer. Just yourself repair your body, mind, and spirit. Because everything is very draining. By the middle of the week it says straddling worlds wandering between realms and because you in the beginning of the week you take your time to repair your everything from your mind your body it's it's like you're working towards and that you feel that one minute you're standing in the three D world, the earthly world, but you also feel the spiritual world is very close. Like you, one half of your body stands in the earthly world and the other half is completely connected to the spiritual world. And it feels like you feel a little bit pulled in, in, in between you and you will be working towards a, a balance because the end of the week it says it's about a perfect storm which tells me it all the emotions that that comes in such a way, in such a wave through you. But in a way, it clears a lot of things because you'll find through that storm, you have a, an extreme courage to step into life. Instead of holding back, just waiting it out like like looking for a cat that looking down on everything, wait what needs to be done. But with this perfect storm, you, and that's, that's why you need to meet talks in the beginning of the wheel, week. You feel like you're being pushed all over the place, which is a storm, but it's all in pre pre preparation. So you can step towards just getting your feet down. This is me. This is life. And I'm taking it head on. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty powerful message. Mm -hmm. Perfect storm. Yeah, sometimes yeah. we have to 
shake things up in our life, don't we, in order to get um, to where we need to be and what, what needs to happen next. <clears throat> Um, yeah, because all the three cards, especially the first two, are like, Whoa, what's ha ha happening? Absolutely. But yeah, it's well done. Think of prep preparation of what you're about to do by the end of the week, or at least build towards. Mm. Feel they're ready it's ready 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 so okay so scorpios this is not for my daughter uh rhiannon she's just had a baby um six weeks ago um and i'm due to go and switch her again i've um I, i'm getting withdrawals away away from you know having a cuddle with the baby and olivia of course um, little Olivia, she's two, she's so sweet. In fact, all the grandchildren, I'm just getting withdrawals about, so. Um, I can't live without them. I can't, I can't live without them in my life. I just, um, they just, you know, my daughters as well, and my family, my mum. So. Um, and they're so young I'm still. Very, yeah, I'm very happy that, um, you know, I've, I've basically, I've got Greg coming here um, to live in England with me because there's no way I could have left, you know, I want to be with the man, but I could not. I'm too, I'm too connected uh, to these beautiful energies. So, yeah, but just, yeah. it's also because they're still so young. Yeah. When they're older, you, not... you can, you can talk in a different way. Now you have to experience everything. Yeah. And I'd love Greg. I can't wait for Greg to be the granddad. Do you know what I mean? To kind of experience what the granddad energy is with, with the grandchildren. I know that, you know, I'd love to see Brittany, you know, have, uh, have babies, but you know, whatever that will be, um, you know, um, we don't know this, this, this life, do we? We don't know. So, you know, in the meantime, he can, be granddad to my lot. So, so it's cute, it's exciting. Sorry, I had to share that a bit. Um, anyway, so what's going to happen with Scorpios? Scorpios, start of the week. Dance to the beat of your own drum. I kept saying it over and over and over again in my head. Um, don't follow in someone else's footsteps. This is you. This is your life. It's important, okay, to um, to do what you feel is best. And I think that's what was coming out with um, with Vera's reading as well. Um, there is a bit of cynical energy, and I think that Scorpios can be a little bit cynical with their sense of humour. It is um, part of. Um, the way that they hide a little bit of their emotions really by the sarcasm um, but that's okay you know um, people deal with their own emotions in lots of different various ways okay um, but I do feel that this um, the changes that are happening in your life and in your um, in your own energies they are official it does feel as if there's an official um, side to things. Um, so you're going to be making some official decisions, okay? Um, you know, dance to the beat of your own drum is linking to making those important decisions and accepting that you're making those important decisions. Okay, so these are decisions that are not small ones. Okay, and that's what you're going to be really uh, contemplating and thinking about okay at the beginning of the week um by the middle of the week um your heart so you're putting um a protection around your heart energy your emotions um this kind of emotional energy is linking to you centering yourself okay i've got to center myself I've got to make sure that I am 
um, I am the happiest person that I could possibly be. Okay. Um, and these, there's emotional choices. So I feel as if there's practical choices and then there's emotional choices. And both of these are linking um, together. Okay. Um, the linking together and it's so these, these are the part of the decisions that you're going to be making. Um, you know, look after yourself, look after you. What do you, you know, it is all to do with what do you want? So by the end of the week, I think Vera had the, um, I don't know what card it was, something to do with storm. Perfect storm. Perfect storm. Yeah. With the crow. Well, we've got crows as well. <laughs> okay. So um, with the 10 of swords, to me, this says that, you know, you've got to make some these decisions and then you've got to send off um, like messages to the universal energy to say, what is it you do want? So you know what you don't want and you've made the decision. So what is it you do want now? Okay. And send that out there. Be positive. Stand by your decision. Stand by your actions. Um, because what's happening um, is the universe is, is keeping a very close eye on you at the moment to make sure that you don't waver uh, with the decision that you're making. Um, you have made this decision that will make you feel as if, um, you know, I need to be kinder to myself and I need to simplify my life so that my life can be as happy as I need it to be. And it might not, other people around me might not have understood my decision and that could create that storm energy. But at the end of the day, this is my decision. Okay, so bit heavy for Scorpios, but um, I think that's what we were both putting um, putting out there. I think Vera knew as well. Okay, so um, we're going to be doing Pisces. So I'm a Pisces. Um, who else is uh, linked with Pisces out there? Everybody who's watching. This is for you guys. They're getting a bit wild, Ellie. Getting what? Bit wild. What, your cards? Yeah. Feel free to change your deck if you want to. It's uh, you, you go with what you feel. No, they're just getting wild because they want to work. Okay. So this is for Pisces for the upcoming week from the 16th to the 23rd prediction. What message? Okay, this, oh, this one, please. This one. And this one. <laughs> Pisces. Beginning of the week. <laughs> I like it, Ellie. I had this one before. I think you're going to like it. Because it is linked Ooh. to Pisces. Joyful news. Inspiration. Nice. And like that, it. yeah, for Pisces. And I, it's literally, I have to say it literally. Just go dig into your inspiration. Go dig in your creativity. Get those pencils out. Get those brushes out. Or, or if you're a carver, go make something with wood. Just kick off. The week with just doing something and I didn't even look saw that in the first time I hadn't seen it when I said about paint and brushes there's how do you how do you call that where you put the paint on Ellie oh an a easel or a um yeah the, the thing yeah, paint board. Because yeah. it's literally on there. 
Yeah, it is. Go be your own Picasso. Yeah. It can be with music. It can be with anything. Artist palette. Yep. Uh, Trisha, it's an artist palette. Artist palette. Okay. Because towards the middle of the week, the card Root Girl came out. And this card says the disowned self. Like... Yeah, like it, the, the, yourself, you feel like it's not yours, but even though it is, because you're going through so much change, because when you start to really express what you want, what you need, what you feel through music or paint or just some just by poetry, you get a feeling, no, that's not me. Well, surprise, it is you. It is the true self. Because going through that, going through within, you'll discover the real self. It will be coming back. Because you're going back down to the complete roots of yourself. And then you're going to need, because of it, it's a lot of hard work. And it says the Garden of Venus. Rest and renewal. And I'm drawn to the butterflies right in there. And here there's a heart, like you know, it's a bit of a heart shaped, Very colorful purple. Beautiful. And yeah, it's it's beautiful. And this feels like literally rest and renewal, reload, rest and, and, and get all the emotions that have been like, well, like that one card, I immediately get that card, the perfect storm. Because this is what your reward is. Rest, renewal, so you can co continue to uh, towards your future. That's what yeah. I can. Sounds yeah. like a I... good week for us, Pisces. Hmm? Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you, Tricia. <laughs> We've got trolls going on out there. Um, we always get at least two every time. So message me for a reading. Oh, like, yeah, you know, right. Do you I'll not own live? You know? I'll message you for a reading or practice with friends. Yeah. But I not don't so mind. Well. If I know the person, I'm the first person who promotes other people. Um, it's like, you know, Vera's doing the readings. I want Vera to put her contact details on there. Oh, she's got her contact details. So there's Vera's email address there. So if anybody wants a reading with, with Vera, please go to rising, risingwolfstar at gmail.com. Um, Trisha does numerology, so she does readings. I am the first to promote other people, but when it's somebody I don't know at all, and then they come on and they kind of like heavy selling energy on there, I don't like it. It doesn't sit well with me. No, so, because I see those bullshit. Yeah. Like it is. you want to do the, the, and then you'll ask crazy amount you just give a slight and then ask a crazy amount and you don't give and then you don't answer back because that yeah. usually happens with those after you send money so trisha had six trolls trying to give readings that's not good it's not good okay so pisces okay beginning beginning of the week for pisces i.e me okay. as well yeah. I've kept my cards in front of me. Mm. Okay. Um, 
So there is going to be um, somebody around uh, you who is, um, they've got a double side to them. They could be really, really nice, but they have got another side. Um, so have your guard up uh, regarding this person. Um, okay, I, I have had a message that the, the trouble is when you get out there um, and you put yourself out there by doing lives, you do get uh, people, as in the trolls and things, you do get this energy. And uh, sometimes you just have to give it back to sender. So just literally put a mirror up and send it straight back. And it's like you're not doing anything to them. They're doing it to themselves. But what you do is you, you put it facing outwards and you send it back three times. So whether they send it you, they get it back three times. Um, you know, it is, it's the way it is. So sometimes you, we just have to put our, our barriers up and we have to kind of honor, um, honor that, honor that this happens um, and just move forward. Okay, so don't let it worry you at all but I feel that there's going to be something like that coming up again at the beginning of the week okay for Pisces linking to self-employment uh, the self-employment energy is going to be very strong okay for people so um, it could be that you're in a job and your job is getting on your nerves you know it could be your boss is expecting too much and is paying very little. Um, it could be all sorts of things. And there might be a, a, a something inside you that says, do you know what? I think I could do this. Um, I could do this or this or this. So it could be that you've got um, a brilliant idea on your own self-employment business, um, which then takes, um, you take the reins back in your own life. Um, so, look out for these kind of energies because I feel that there, um, there is a self-employed business in each one of us, every single person on the planet. There is something that you could do. Um, and uh, I feel that obviously some people, um, self-employment isn't their thing um, and that's okay as well. Um, but there is definitely going to be some discussions and talks about self-employment either coming from you or um, you're talking about it to someone else. Okay. Um, they're saying that you need to look after yourself, make sure that you've wrapped yourself up in cotton wool. Okay. And this could be to do with your emotions. Somebody emotionally, um, you know, Pisces wise, uh, needs to take responsibility of your own happiness. If you are feeling constantly unhappy, sometimes we have to address who, if there's anybody that makes us unhappy or has got um, the ability to change our mood uh, by their mood swings, um, if they have them, um, then sometimes we have to protect ourselves and say, um, I no longer give this person permission uh, to change my energies, okay? I block that. So sometimes we have to, you know, protect ourselves, okay? So... Um, that's the beginning of the week. By the middle of the week, um, everybody's getting this at the moment. So connections with the past. Um, so don't be surprised if you're not getting, um, um, you know, a message from somebody either in the spirit world um, that you miss or somebody that you have connected with on the earth plane and they're an old friend and they're coming back into your life. Um, and this kind of um, energy is gonna feel as if you're reminiscing about the past. Um, you're thinking about how things used to be. Um, there's a lot of kind of vibrancy and happiness uh, going on uh, between the two of you. Um, the, um, behind this kind of energy, there is um, you know, a, a challenge. So I feel that sometimes we have to challenge uh, what, why has this person come back into my life uh, now? what is the message what is this about um so it's not always easy um to um to honor what uh what this is for just what i mean um it might feel good but it might create other complications as well in your life okay 
Um, so this is what the, um, the challenge is about. Um, um, by the end of the week, end of the week, I'm seeing a very strong person, somebody who um, they can be very determined, they can be very focused on, on what it is that they want. And sometimes they can be a little bit too, um, they can be very dominant. I feel as if they want to tell you what to do. They don't want you to think for yourself. Um, there's an energy of kind of um, a heavy energy um, that is coming with this person. This person's going to be um, around you. This person can be um, somebody in authority. It can be a boss. It can be a partner if they're over overwhelmingly, um, a, you know, got that pressure energy. Um, the temperance is that you're going to need to find the balance right um, between yourself and this person. And that could mean that you've got to stand up for yourself um, and not put up with this uh, very negative vibrational energy, um, no matter who it is. You know, it could be the mother-in-law. It could be the father-in-law. It could be, you know, your dad, your parent. Um, it doesn't have to be the male character. It can be female. Uh, but this, this kind of like dominance energy, um, you are going to, it's like you're going to get ready to defend or get ready to tell this person to stop doing what they're doing. Um, it's going to be quite strong uh, for you, Pisces. Uh, the transformation energy is all around you. That feeling of I'm no longer that little person anymore who puts up with other people dominating me and telling me what to do. Um, that isn't me anymore. So you know, anybody out there trying to dominate me, they can wind their neck in. So that is uh, Pisces. All right. So we've now got Cancerians. How are you doing, Vera? Doing Good. Right? Yeah. Are you enjoying the challenge? Yeah. Good. <laughs> so Sharon, Sharon didn't say no to next week. So hopefully, no. lovely Sharon on um, Sharon Poe, she can join us um, next week for doing these. Uh, the trouble is sometimes it's a bit, I don't give much notice before I come on. So that's the only trouble. Um, but I'll try um, and give give her as much notice as I can because I have to fit this in with my other stuff that I do I have to fit it in I already had to, my computer off did you <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said I have to restart my computer <laughs> it's pretty quick thank god yeah it's obviously and a good computer yep and I did did uh Jump to another card deck. Mm. Okie dokie. So, this is for Cancer, for the Cancer, Cancerian. Cancer doesn't sound right. No, I've never liked it. No. So, this is for the Cancerian for the upcoming week from the 16th to, through the 23rd of May and let's we'll see what kind of message the work your light deck has for hmm that sounds like a beautiful chance challenge for the Cancerian it starts to kick off with a leap of faith. Ooh. You go first and the universe will catch you. So don't be afraid. And yeah, I don't like say be, be, don't be afraid. But when you think, well, I'll, I'll, usually you let someone else go first. At this time, 
I think it's going to be the challenge that come up in the beginning of the week. Just to go for it. Don't just overthink it. Just go for it. Just do it. Go the first. Don't wait for others because the universe will catch you, which means they have your back. They'll be there. They will guide you. But you'll have to take the first step. Towards the middle of the week. When you think I'm not doing it, you are already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north, which tells me you have a vision. This is what I want. Don't wait for others to tell you it's good to get there. Go that way. Just keep your mind focused on what you want. And when you put that on a spiritual path, just go for it. Universe will guide you. You got this because when you think I am learning or getting into spirituality, it might be that you already have been doing it your whole life. And every single thing you watch or listen to is just to reconnect to your spirituality because you got it but you have forgotten how to use it and towards the end of the week and that feels that i have to leave that as a question because it says it's it's the priestess how are you being called to step up and lead and when you feel the other cards go first because you got it and maybe this this card comes up to let you know that it's time to stop letting others tell you what to do because you got it you got all the help you need Everything, every single thing is inside you. Just go for it. Don't think, I don't have that capability. Because you got that. Because you're leading your own life. So let that experience that you stay true to yourself. Be the strongest power you have because... You have the power. Lovely, Vera. Beautiful. Night. Hello, Mary Jane. Good to see you. Okay. Um, so, Cancer, so I forgot to mention that Pisces was my mum as well. Um, um, and she does watch these every week. Bless her. I mute myself a little. And please, I'm going to pray I don't bleed after that. Don't what? Because she needs her medication. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what are what you're saying? <laughs> okay. So she opened it, me up every single time. She may scratch the hell out of you. Well, not um, the hell. She is pretty direct. Yeah. Yeah. Put some gloves on or something. Yeah. Tricky, isn't it? Okay. I'll mute you. Uh, oh, she's muted herself. That's okay. All right, so um, this is Cancerian. So Cancerian is my other daughter. So we've got all water signs in our family. So me, my mum, Pisces, and then you've got Rhiannon, who's Scorpio, and then you've got my Megan, who is Cancerian. Okay, so we're all emotional. Um, 
so um so cancerians this is for you miggy yeah we are talking about the cat mary jane <laughs> yeah so she's just gonna have a little fight with the cat they don't like taking their medication do they and i feel terrible it's better in the pipette form on the back of the neck isn't it when they do that it's like worming tablets um why do worming tablets for cats um you can get the, the pipette stuff from the vet but getting the pipette stuff for home um the only one that i found for worming tablets for cats was dronset dronset or something um but yeah um you know it's a lot easier when they do that okay so oh she looks as if uh, that was not so bad how did that go Did it go all right? Rapid. Yeah. And then do it. She's getting better. So I hope yeah. I can keep it up giving. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we're just saying that it's uh you found pipette worm on Amazon. I found I found it, I, but it was after a lot of research. Um, I actually found Dronsit worming tap, worming pipettes because a lot of them came in. It's like some of them work because you've got to have two different wormers, haven't you? You've got to have tape worm and then another one. Uh, yeah, but this this is her thyroid meds, and she no, has no, to have it twice a day. I'm, I'm um, talking to the people on there about the uh, worming stuff. That's the conversation we were having. Yeah, so it's like, but we found, I found it in the end, it was Dronsit, um, but it is easier just putting it on the back of the neck. That was our conversation. Why do they have to give us tablets for the cats? Because they just won't, they just don't eat it, do they? Yeah, I see what brand mine is. The tablets are huge for, huge for worming. Yeah, they're too big for worming stuff. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough about our pets. But we do love our pets, don't we? Our pets well, are what? It, I could put it through the food. But, but they eat around it and spit the tablet out. I've seen well, them. These are specially to be crushed. Mm. But then she leaves it. Yeah, exactly. My cat didn't. It was like, no, I know what's in it. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so for Cancerians, okay? Um, <laughs> So who said they were Cancerian? Was it uh, Mary Jane? Just said she was a Cancerian. Yep. Yes, Mary Jane. So this is for you and for my Megan and any other Cancerians that are out there. Okay, so we're starting off with the sun. You got the sun card, happiness and brightness and feeling vibrant and enjoying um, life. It then turns into a feeling of I've got a battle with something. I've got to gear myself up to do something that I don't really want to do. But because I'm in a good mood and because everything's going well in other areas, I think I'll be all right. OK, so it's, it's you're giving yourself a talking to um, regarding, you know, uh, what it is that you, you, you've got going on. Um, and this indicates um, that everything is upside down a feeling of waiting for um, waiting for the right moment. So yes, there are some battles. You're waiting for the right moment. Um, you're trying to look at things from other, other people's angles or Sorry. another situation. And, um, um, but everything is working out fine, okay? Um, you know, you just have to kind of go with it. it it's like we were just talking about with the pets. Sometimes you have to go through situations that you don't want to, or you have to experience things that you don't want to experience, uh, but you know that it's going to be go right in the end. It's going to be fine in the end. Okay, so um, there's a close up of the cat's bottom there for everybody to see. That's just lovely. Um, so we've got the birth energy. So this is about birthing of new ideas, birthing of um, situations um, like new ideas, um, inspired thoughts. Okay, so there's lots of inspiration coming uh, your way for the future. 
Um, and sometimes we have to, so yes, there's a battle, but it's going to be no. fine. Okay. That was the message. And um, Miss Charming Lee um, gave her point of view as well. So um, she said that, yes, she agrees. Okay, so um, about the middle of the week, the middle of the week for Cancerians, um, we've got a mothering feeling, mother. So um, I'm going to say this again, like when certain cards come up, they've got so many different meanings um, that sometimes you have to give all of it. Okay, especially if you're doing like a group reading. If I was reading for just one person, um, I'd be able to be more precise. Um, but when we're doing for lots of people, this is going to be um, spread out. So the Empress can mean uh, fertility. That could be fertility of an idea or, um, or things coming to fruition uh, where you've worked hard. And then this comes out well. Um, it can mean pregnancy. It can mean so that's pregnancy around you, not necessarily you. Um, it can be um, mother. It can be a mothering character, a mothering feeling, all right, um, or needing to be nurtured. So with that, that in mind, okay, um, we've got a feeling of whichever way I turn, there seems to be another issue, another problem, another issue, um, and a need to maybe uh, look at other ways around a problem, around a situation, or weigh up the options that you have. So remember, we're going back to this feeling of mother nurturing uh, uh, business ideas, uh, proposition, things coming to fruition. OK, so it's one of those. Um, we've then got um, the mid of the week. We have um, having to be strong. Sometimes we have to be the person that says, I am the one in, in charge. You're not the one in charge. I'm the one in charge of my own life and my own destiny. And you can't tell me what to do. OK, so, you know, when sometimes you have to be that person that stands up for um, either yourself or stands up for someone else. Um, this is basically what I'm seeing um, happening in the middle of the week for Cancerians. So this can be from uh, somebody who's trying to mother you or somebody who is being a little bit um, kind of dominant female energy. OK, this can be. Um, but this is you saying, I am in charge. The message is, I'm in charge. Um, I've tried to look at it from every angle. I'm in charge. And this is what I feel, OK, to be true. OK, so by the end of the week, end of the week, I'm seeing some sort of legal documents or official documents. Or this could be certificates. Um, form filling, um, you know, applying for something, getting something done, um, making sure that everything is um, is in order, okay, and, uh, you know, structured order, okay. Um, there does seem to be a little bit of sadness um, around this, or, um, you know, this isn't, um, you know, you know, this is making me feel um, as if I've got a lack of um, emotion to get on with things or I'm withdrawing away into myself. Maybe um, these legal or official documents are things that you don't want to do. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, sometimes, you know, we have to do things we don't want to do. And I'm going to go back to what I felt in the beginning. Um, there is a good outcome. We've seen it with the sunshine. We've seen it with the birth, kind of like everything is moving forward in, in a good way. But sometimes we have to do things and we have to stand up for ourselves with things that we don't want to do. Do you see what I mean? And I feel that this is going to be one of those weeks, I'm afraid. Um, so um, sometimes miracles happen in our lives. And don't be, don't ever think to yourself that miracles aren't all around you, because they are. Um, there's lots of things happening in your life that you never would have, have dreamt could have been happening, or you know, there's some jaw-dropping moments um, that are coming from your life right now, um, and they're coming directly from the wishes that you have put out there 
Um, so look out for those um, because, you know, um, it may seem uncomfortable, but there's good stuff ahead. Okay. So that is for Cancerians. Okay. And that is for all the water signs. We've done all the water signs. Um, so now we're going to do the earth signs now. So that's Taurus. Then we're going to do um, Taurus, Virgo, and then Capricorn. Okay. So Mary Jane says, yes, that makes sense. Signed a contract on my house. Uh, dreading moving, 10 hour drive with six cats. Oh my goodness. New chapter for June. Thank you, Ali, spot on. Yes, sadness leaving my sweet little house for 15 years, but new chapter, I'm ready for it. Yeah, sometimes it's like, it's not nice, but we can see, you know, better life is coming. So, okay. So thanks for sharing, Mary Jane, that's lovely. All right, so we're gonna go on to Taurus now. Um, oh. Taurus energy. When, when Mary gives uh, her six cats pictures in her mind what the journey is going to be, how long they're on the road, mm -hmm. then they are less stressed. Yeah, we think they're not going to understand, but maybe they will if they, you, they do um, teach them telepathically. Yep. Just, just put a movie on, take a deep breath and just tell them what's going to happen. And especially how the house looks where you're going to live in. So mm. you know where you're going. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to go tinkle. So I'm going to put myself on um, oh, okay. off the camera. Okay? But I, I'll be I, back in a minute. All right, Vera? Okay. Over to you. Okay. Okay, this is for Taurus, the prediction for the upcoming week from the 16th to the 23rd. What kind of message are the work you like wanted you to know? It feels like more like a bit of kind of guidance. And this one. Hmm. Well, <laughs> in the beginning of the week, we're just going to kick off. And it's just about just say yes. Don't worry about what's going to happen. Just say yes, go for it, do it. Because the universe is putting you something on your path in the beginning of the week. And it's something that you maybe have been thinking about for a long, long time. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna... this card comes out and it's a just simple says, yes. Just say yes. In the, throughout the middle of the week, that's going to be a little bit more about, and they say, break the chain. Break the chain of ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Most people think when you think about the future, everything is set in place. But when you break a chain with the past or, or a certain pattern you have always done, maybe a crazy thing. I have all, oh yes, my pen, I have to put it there. Check it again. No, it has to be exactly the same way. Break that. Just go throw it somewhere. It's good. You can find it. Don't worry about it. Because then you'll break that chain of pattern. It will change the things. It will skip a timeline. When you 
change something in the way you normally do something by instead of thinking, oh, should I, should I put it on paper? What are the do's and what are the don'ts? And then balance it out. Nope. Just like it says in the beginning, just say yes. Don't overthink it. Just do it. Break it. Because you'll have see the things you thought were going to happen in the future all of a sudden won't happen anymore. But it's that's also because when you're overthinking towards the end of the week, it says take a break. A life's work, not a season. So something you work on your whole life, you don't have to squeeze it in one season. Just get off that treadmill. Stop running. Stop chasing what you want. Because when you take that break, you'll all of a sudden see that it's already there. Because the more you want it, the more you chase it, the further it runs away until it's out of reach. But when you take a break, because the universe knows what you want, knows what you need. But when you run or try to chase something, it usually runs away. Hold it. Take that break. Take that faith. Just say yes. I am important to take that break. Slow down. It's there. You don't have to chase it. It will show up right in front of you on your path. And then have the guts to just say yes. They're mute. You're mute. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So some of my posters turned out okay. I mean, some of them did at the back, which I don't mind the back or the front. So it wasn't all disastrous, thank goodness. So that was good. Right. So. Thought I'd uh, do some colouring in between these. Okay, so we're going to do um, Taurus now. Okay, let's have a look. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. So this is the, for the 16th through to the 23rd of May 2021. Taurus. Okay, the start of the week, Taurus. I've actually picked the Taurus card, <laughs> which is funny. Um, consider it's Taurus. You can see the bull up there on the ledge there. Okay, so that is my Taurus. Um, okay, so Taurian energy. Um, you've got lots of choices and decisions again. Um, you same as a lot of people this week. So. There is a running theme. The running theme is to do with I'm special to, I deserve, and I've got to make some decisions and choices. Okay, this seems to be um, very um, a similar similar theme. Um, okay, there is um, there are two messages here. For some of you, there is a character around you at this well coming up this week who has got bad intentions. Um, this person is somebody that you need to kind of um, keep an eye on. Um, don't fully trust their energy just because they say, um, if you, is that the same? Break the is chain. The Break the chain. Um, just because they say, oh, please trust me, I'm trustworthy. I'm not so sure they are. So just be aware. Um, of people like that. 
um, you know, it's not, they're not always what they seem to be. So, um, and I feel that, you know, sometimes we can um, get out of a situation by not taking them seriously. Do you see what I mean? So if they're saying, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that, it's just, yeah, I'll be right ahead. Yeah, I'll just do that, yeah. And then don't do it, do you see what I mean? So it's sometimes we, we don't have to make a big song and dance about um, rejecting somebody's offer. We can just do it in a lighthearted way. Um, but I do feel that you're going to be making the choice um, emotionally. Um, there is another feeling I'm getting here where you're going to be in the crossroads of a situation um, and it seems as if it's an argument. I'm seeing an argument between two people and you're in the middle and uh, both people want you to pick their side. Both people want you to say, you know, I agree with you or I agree with you. And um, you're not going to want to. You're not going to want to be in that situation. Um, it's going to be an awkward time, but you will get through it. And sometimes, you know, you, you can... The, see, the trouble is, if you pick one person, the other person is going to get annoyed. Um, and, you know, so, yeah, it's not a situation that people want to be in. There's going to be a big uh, transformation energy coming on around the middle of, um, of this next week uh, for you Taurians. Um, it feels as if there is, um, I'm, it's like you're working um, you're working away from where you would normally go and it feels as if I'm seeing a change of workplace so you would normally be working there but you've decided I'm not I'm going to go here so there's something to do with a change or a swap over uh, time okay and this will feel um, everything everything will feel right about this and I'm seeing you then going into study, learning, development, uh, taking on um, something new because I see education around this decision. Um, for other people, that because obviously when we're reading like this, um, we're reading for lots and lots of people. So sometimes I see different timelines. Um, it could be that you are going for training within your existing job and you don't like what you're being trained for maybe it's something that you don't want to do. So it means that you're coming away or pulling away from um, the job. And it could be that you've decided to do something else with your life. Um, can you see the two? They're very close timelines, um, but there's a slight difference. So it could be that you're pulling away to do some training, or it could be the job that you're already in has got training that you don't want to do, that you don't feel. It's to do with principles and it's to do with being true to yourself. By the end of this uh, next week, uh, we've got a celebration of love. Um, and like we said with Diane, sometimes if it's not to do with your love life, um, then it would have to be um, a friendship or a family celebration, uh, something, something to do with good news coming. Okay, something that you want to celebrate and you want to look forward to. Um, I feel that there has been some good news or there will be some good news after there being a depression or a worry or a fear or a kind of a, kind of like a, a heaviness, a heavy feeling, okay, um, linking over, over, um, over you or over the family. Um, and also somebody who keeps letting people down, promising things and not fulfilling the promises back and forth, back and forth with decisions and energy um, and I feel that after all of that there's some really good news where everybody's going to be high-fiving and you know oh that's good it turned out better than we thought you know this is this is great um, you know all that all that stress and everything um, it's all worked out um, for the best okay um, and at this point you're needing to then um, set out some new um, new challenges need to be um, on their way. Okay, so it's like sometimes we've got to um, decide different things. Do you see what I mean? Um, you know, that's the most important thing. Um, you know, make sure. So if you've got your wish, that's what you've wanted. That's what you've want. You know, you've got. Um, it's now right. I've got to go to the next 
my next choice and my next wish is this um, and then put your energy into that and enjoy so there you go that's what i see for taurus okay so we've got virgo now we've only got a couple left vera yeah i think you've coped brilliantly me just throwing you in the deep end there you always do i always kind of give you a challenge and and you come off really well i think that's a bit of story of my life i never was able to do homework until I was sitting in the last 10 minutes waiting until to go into class and then I was able to do it. Yeah. I've never agreed with homework. No. I think that once children have come home from school, I think give children next tw 20 minutes, 20 minutes at school rather than giving them homework because I think once they get home from school, they should just do it. They should just enjoy themselves. Yeah. Or at least have some time to get the school out of their mind. Yeah. Okay. Prediction for Virgo for the upcoming week from the 16th to the 23rd. Okay, this one runs out. Yep, and these two stuck together. Hmm. For the Virgos, the week, it advises you, especially on the spiritual level, to start to, to kick off the week, we take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. And when you do that, you'll prepare yourself for loads of changes for yourself, because you are important. Because, look, I'm drawn to the what you see on the other side of the arches. Nature. Mm. Go into nature. Ground yourself. Take a break. Get on the treadmill. Because towards... You're going to need it. Because towards the middle of the week, it says that you're going to have a deep replenishment retreat rest be held well if you have a partner you can hug each other you can hug your animals or just yourself when you're on your own you can see how and it's also in nature There's a big whale in the back. She's standing close. Oh, out of the way. So take a rest. Retreat. Go within. Within who you are, what you just feel inside. What are your emotions? When I, I hear the will wants to talk, that can also be that nature wants to talk to you or your guides. Let them in, open up. Because towards the end of the week, all that work, and this card says birthing a new age birthing of new creations dreaming a new world into being which tells me that the way you look at it 
is what you think is going to create for you. So if you want to change in your life, don't hold on with the thinking, <clears throat> yep, I've got to do this. I got to ha no, uh, keep that job because I need the money. Yes, you do. Because you need to make sure you can eat, buy the things you need to m keep going. But don't be afraid to look into the new things you want to do that makes you love the work you're doing. And that work can be get on your spiritual path. Just get on your healing path or whatever. Or painting or ever, anything that brings you joy. Because that what brings you joy will also, in the end, give you better financial grounding. It will lift you up. So for Virgo, I strongly feel that the upcoming week is all about just sit back and... I hear, ask your guides to guide you towards the thing that brings you joy, that brings you energy instead of draining. That's, yeah, be, I, the word be held. It can also be by the universe. Your guides want to hold out their hands, lift you up. Because you got it, and you have the chance to change the life of what you want, towards where you want to go. That's what I got for Lovely. Lovely. Thank you, Vera. You're welcome. Okay, so Taurus. Sorry, Virgo, even. <laughs> okay <laughs> look I'm reading this look that's my side that's what I was doing Virgo <laughs> right have a look so 16th to the 23rd of May beginning of the week will be um, the realizing that you've got to do something different regarding your money and your spending habits. Um, this is all about decisions on, you know, financial things, making sure that financially um, everything is being paid and done the, in the best way possible. Um, there is um, a mini celebration. So I feel as if there's been uh, something happening um, that has eased the financial stress. Um, and this is why you are then able to uh, change this, this kind of spending um, energy. Um, I feel that you're walking sideways around a person um, who it, it's been difficult to get to know them. It's been difficult to communicate with them because they have been, um, it's, it's like, They've been a little bit kind of uh, stand backish, um, not kind of coming forward or allowing anybody in uh, to their emotions. Um, and you're trying to work them out whether or not they really are shy or whether or not they are the sort of person that just wants to be left alone. Um, and you're, you're just not kind of sure. I feel that you're going to play it by ear um, and uh, wait to see. Um, I am seeing savings. I'm seeing you saving up for something really nice, uh, something that you've wanted for a long time. Um, and this, uh, these feelings of excitement are rising up inside you. Um, that it, it's uh, it's it's like 
you know, I can't wait to, to do this or I can't wait to have this. So it's definitely something that you want very much. You feel very passionate um, about. OK. Um, and you will do it because you're going to put your mind to to doing it um, to to save up for. Um, OK, so you're going to be dealing with um, um, a situation head on. Now, once again, I said to you, there's usually a theme that runs through all the readings. But well, once again, there's somebody from your past or a situation from your past that you're having to now deal with. Um, this situation is um, it can be a change of life situation, depending on what you decide. So it's like somebody from your past comes back into your life and you've got to decide whether you're going to continue on the pathway um, that you have been on or you're going to change off and do something else. Uh, the decision is going to be a difficult one, um, but it does mean, you know, you're not going to be able to shy away from this. You're not going to be able to, to say, oh, I don't want to make that decision uh, because it's right in front of you and there's somebody literally um, asking you, okay, what have you decided? Um, I need to know, don't hold back on me. Um, so that can be a little bit daunting, um, the decisions. Okay, so moving on to um, the end of the week uh, for Virgos. Um, end of the week, I've got... Um, this brilliant idea that is running through your mind, this idea is going to take you to, um, it's taking you on a journey. And I, I don't know if I'm talking about a spiritual journey or whether I'm actually, you know, seeing you going on a physical journey. I'm absolutely not sure. Um, so when I'm not sure, I feel as if there's a, a double timeline again. So it could be going in this. And we've uh, got another one. If we? Yep. <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> Good heavens. I saw something move and. Hmm. Yes. It's like, do your own lives. Do your own lives. Stop messing with mine. Yeah, so um, I, so when I see a double timeline, this can be for um, somebody going on a spiritual journey, um, and it, but for other people, it could be um, you're actually going on a physical journey, as in a holiday, uh, as in moving, movement forward. You know, the eight of uh, wands to me is the going off into this direction. Um, but this this ideas that you've got are going to be very good for you. They're going to be very good for uh, your future. There's a lot, lot of excitement um, around, around you um, and around this, uh, this, this chance. I feel as if it's a chance to go forward, a chance to, uh, to take you on this, this new journey. Um, it's saying to me something to do with being private or trying to keep uh, this secret. Um, so if you are on a spiritual journey and you don't, you know, you might be around a lot of people who, you know, don't believe in this sort of thing. So therefore you don't want other people to know too much. Um, either way, that's going to be tricky to hide uh, sooner or later, because I feel that your, um, your spirituality is literally taking over your personality um, because it is part of your personality. That's the thing. You don't just one day become spiritual. You either are spiritual or you're not. What does that say? Feast of plenty, choices and the consequences. Would you I make that? Out. Well, loads of choices. And... Just have a party with it. Because I see a crystal right here. Something like a crystal. Yeah, crystal ball. Yeah, yeah, but on top of it. 
I can't see. No, blurry. Yeah, it's it's blurry, but <clears throat> the minute I looked at it, I, I it felt also like a crystal, but, or that, that it comes off from the ball. Hmm. But it's yeah. going to be a lot of joy. Loads of choices. Yep. It's good. And take yeah. advantage. Feast of them. Get a party of it. Yeah. I've, it's, it's like it's not something that you can hide anymore. Um, it, it really isn't. And this is going to make you feel as though, you know, something I perhaps I need to speak out now. Um, it could be that you get a really good spiritual message come through and you want to tell the person um, about this message. But, you know, then it could be that they're going to ask you questions about um, your, you know, what do you see in this? What do you see in that? Um, heading towards the light, heading towards the excitement of, you know, um, what else, what else am I capable of? What else can I do? Okay. And, um, you know, spirit are going to be speaking to you quite a bit. Um, there seems to be a bit of a power struggle going on with you and a family member. Um, this is going to be a, a bit tricky to, uh, to deal with because obviously family situations, um, you don't really want to upset anybody, but equally, um, you know, you don't want to upset yourself either. So, um, so yeah, bit of a tricky one. Um, that's right at the end of uh, next week. Okay. So um, our last and final one is Capricorns. Okay. So Capricorns. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Capricorns. And I switch back to the shaman's dream and it okay. says we are all sacred dreamers dreaming the world into being right so that's where the messages come from okay that's about right yep yeah so this is the prediction or guidance mm -hmm. guidance prediction for capricorn from the Upcoming week from the 16th to the 23rd of May. Mm. Ooh. <clears throat> so this is that's it says it uh, looks like big challenging week for the Capricorn a thing of that we are all sacred dreamers dreaming the world into being so the, this says it's uh, the beginning of the week is about closing a door completion things have you been doing working towards emotions or unfinished traumas I hear you're gonna start by closing that door to the past you have completed it you worked through it and then towards the middle of the week even though you have left the past behind going towards the future you still get the wall the obstacles because it's going to be a challenge to kick off your new world the new way of being the new way of life because uh, when you have dealt with the past with all these emotions all of a sudden you start to realize you have a future that you've had so many people tell you, oh, you don't have a future. What are you doing? You know, that will go through your mind. That are probably the obstacles 
of going forward. But believe in your dreams because they will come true. And even though you by the end of the week with all that new, all the changes, it gives you a feeling that you're lost in space, needing direction. And I'm really drawn to the world she's whole, having her hand under. It feels like that's the world. Even though right now, at, this, at the end of the week, you feel like where I'm going, I've closed this. I have some obstacles going forward. Where do I need to go? But he'll have to have faith, the new direction you need to go forward will reveal. Ask your guides, dream of it. Because dreams do come true. That's what yeah, I got from me. Our guides are never far away. Um, nope. They literally answer you. you. You think about something and the answer will come to you. Sometimes we dismiss it, um, but they are really talking to us. Um, they want to you know, they are the team that you, the invisible team that you can't actually see, but they, they're there. They're there. When you feel you're falling and all of a sudden you feel that you're still there, that that fall mm -hmm. stops. That's are your guides. Yeah. Helping you land safely so you can restart your life the way you should have been without all the people that try to tell you all the obstacles, but it's going to, it's going to change because you, by the end of the week, even though you feel lost in space, because whenever all the heaviness is, are, is off, you know, you have all of a sudden a load of space where you can move around in. Where do you go? Well, just hold on. Just wait. Trust your guides because they will help you. They will bring you yeah. to the place where you need to go. Not just yes. tell you, they'll bring you. Like the stepping stones will appear. A lot of the time, you know, yeah. it's like, come this way, this way's good. Yeah, Trisha, the air signs were right in the beginning. Um, so we started off with air signs this week. Okay, right, so um, this is Capricorn. Okay, let's have a look and see what's going on with Capricorn for the 16th to the 23rd of May. Oh, Capricorns. Okay, I believe this is my brother Jake's um, sign. Okay, so I can see a new job um, around you, Capricorns. A new job, promotion, extra responsibility within a job. Um, it can be starting of a new project, uh, that sort of thing. And straight away, we've got the money card, which says that it will be successful, um, that, that you've made the right choice made the right decision okay that financially things will be better for you okay so there's a large amount of money around you um, and this new positive um, um, money matters um, project um, I can't really say any better than that for the beginning of the week for you um, so you know um, yeah just got to leave that bit there um, then you've got the sun, which is a boost of confidence, um, a feeling of everything going in the right direction, that everything is exciting. Um, there's a feeling of um, taking a leap of faith um, and deciding that, yes, I'm going to go in this direction. Um, you know, I'm gonna, I've am going i taken a leap of faith. 
and everything is working out really well. Um, you do have a little bit of an obstacle that you need to get past um, and you just need to be creative in getting past uh, that obstacle. So it's not going to go by itself, but it will. Um, you can get, get around it. OK, so you just have to be creative. Um, I feel that you sometimes need to see things from a different angle um, from you know, maybe somebody else's point of view, or maybe someone else will give you the idea of how to get out of um, the situation that seems to be, um, you know, stopping you from getting what it is that you want. Um, it's a personal feeling of, of uh, celebration, like by the middle of the week, a feeling of, I am so pleased, I'm so uh, proud of myself, I'm I'm proud of my spirit guides. Um, the money has come to me. It could be that you've needed some extra money in order to take on um, a new challenge um, that has come up around the middle of the week. Um, this money then just turns up. You know when it's like this, um, this money from the past um, has just risen up. Um, you thought it was gone. You thought that was that was done, dusted and um, and you know you forgot about it and then all of a sudden it's back um, and I feel that this is um, that that's why they're saying that you've had to kind of hang in there and be creative to find a different way around a problem or situation um, there is going to be a journey that you're going to go on I can see um, you know travel arrangements I'm seeing um, you know some sort of <laughs> Um, for some of you, you're going to be, it's like a victory lap. You know, the, like when somebody succeeds um, or, so, you know, somebody, um, you know, achieves, you know, the, is the winner. Um, they used to do it with the Speedway when my dad used to take me um, to Speedway. Um, and the, the winner used to do a victory lap um, around, the, uh, around the track. Um, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing the victory. Um, so they're saying, take a bow, you've done it. Um, so very, very busy week. To start with, I just need to recap because it was very full on. To start with, new job, new money, extra responsibility within, within um, a job or responsibilities there. Um, and that leads to a large amount of money or more financial um, stability kind of on a, an everyday basis um, then taking a leap of faith um, that leap of faith is leading to the sunshine the happiness the brightness the the feeling um, that I've you know you've done the right thing you will feel as if there's a, a light inside you um, that you knew I knew I should have done it and I knew this is the right decision you know that feeling from within there will be a slight um, obstacle that you will need to get around. And I feel that that will be um, be creative with, with how to get around it. It does indicate that you're going to look, you're going to see something or be told something from someone else, um, a, a way of getting around it. It's like, well, when that happened to me, I did this. Um, or have you ever tried this um, to get around that? So um, there is, there are, you know, listen out for, um, you know, it's like someone knowing the rules um, of a game that you, you're playing and you're trying to get through without, without knowing the rules. Um, but this is like saying, this is a cheats version. Here you go, why don't you try this? That will be a celebration within yourself. I'm seeing a journey, either literally or um, emotionally. The journey is going forward. Um, I'm also seeing um, a chance to um, DIY, something to do with DIY or changes in the house. So I don't know if this is to do with um, either somebody moving or, um, you know, doing something like decorating, um, sorting out the jobs that need to be done, that sort of thing. Um, and that will be by the end of the week, Capricorns. So we did it. Yay! We did it. It's really good. So, ah, oh, so I want to say well done, Vera, well Thank done. You. And hopefully people are going to give you feedback um, on your readings, which will be good for you. 
he's not wet this time. <laughs> he turns up and he's sop- oh, he is a little bit. He's sopping wet. <laughs> you want sweets? I can give him sweets now. Um, I was using the sweetie box as my stand <laughs> for this sign. <laughs> um, so, oh, you don't want those ones. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, well oh, done. Mommy, they have the wrong energy. I know. You didn't want them. He wants stick, but chances are he'll turn his nose up at these. This nose? Yeah, he wants that one. That's the one he wants. <laughs> Terribly not demanding. Terribly sorry. So, so anyway, um, thank you, Sharon. Um, is that a definite yes for next week? Can we get a, a definite? As you've had a little bit of time to think about it, you're gonna help me next week do the readings. I'm just uh, waiting for the, because it's a delay, isn't there? So I'm, yeah, big li- big delay. Yeah, I'm just waiting to see. Um, I'll have to actually put it in my diary a time and a and a a day, you know. Also, because I'm shadow banned, I need as much advertising out there as possible. Otherwise, people just don't get to get to mm-hmm. know. Have to wait to see what Robin is doing. He's going out of town. Oh, okay. All right. You just let me know. Let me know. Um, so okay. Um, I'm gonna go now. And um it's been wonderful working with you, Vera. Thank you, and thank you for uh, giving me this uh, opportunity. No, it's good. I like to, you know, otherwise you don't get get to show off your your skills so if anybody out there would like a reading with with um our lovely vera um you can contact her her um can you put it in the chat vera your email address it's risingwolfstar at gmail.com if anybody would like a reading uh, vera can do some wonderful spiritual readings um she's got various different uh, cards that she can use good night mary 16. Um, so it might be Sharon next week. So we'll have to uh, wait and see. Okay. Well, she can say that she'd love to. I know. So it's a bit of wait yeah. if he is going out of town. Yeah. Yeah. I'm being, my arms being loved by the cat. <laughs> Well, that after I gave her the pill, she came. I know. To I saw. Cuddle, to yeah. say, I'm sorry, mommy. Yeah. I'm thinking about getting one of those oh. pill shooters, and I my hands are not because that's so. her fear. I didn't know there was a pill shooter. Yeah. Mm. Loads of them, and there was one type that is very soft so even if you push it against the palate it doesn't hurt oh that's good that is good yeah but it got to wait a bit it doesn't matter if you get interrupted by us just what i mean because you know we can work around it it's not a problem um you know it's a it's a free reading for people so we can't really say to people um you know this is uh, this is ultra perfect. Mind you, I don't work like that anyway. I can't work like that. I'm not ultra professional. And it's like, you know, I am going to be doing some meditations. I am going to be doing some of those. Um, I've been asked about those. I'm going to do a cord cutting one um, and other bits and pieces. But um, yeah, so I've got a lot I want to do because of the Patreon now. It frees me up a little bit. Um, so I don't have to just do reading, reading, teaching, teaching, teaching. Just sort of mean I can I can be a bit freelance. Just sort of mean so I'm I'm enjoying that. Um, that's really good. And still it comes. All right. 
some steady money. Yeah. So, and I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful to, to people. So, yeah. All right, then. I mean, there's a lot of people who said they're going to, you see. So, um, so It'll yeah. take some time, but then um, when they find it, they'll... Uh, yeah. You need to know I have the lowest one. It's okay. It doesn't matter, Vera. It, it, honestly, everything is... I'm so grateful. I'm very, very grateful. I saw um, it. I saw it, and I thought. That one. You know, you know, you'll be invited to all of them anyway, so don't worry about it. So, anyway, I love you all, and we've been going for three hours and forty-five minutes, Vera. <laughs> three hours. This is. So uh, I'm on. Anyway. Uh, Three hours and six minutes. It's um, Psychic Alley. Let me say. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash slash psychic. Psychic Alley. There you go. <laughs> Um, oh, thank you, thank you so much, everybody. Um, you can't post this. It goes against you or our, It goes against our community standards on on spam. You're not allowed to put Patreon on there, apparently. That's ridiculous. Really? Greg puts it up all the time. He always puts it up. He does a little link to me. Hold Why on. are they not letting me? Hold That's on. bizarre. Anyway, it's patreon.com forward slash psychic alley. That's it. All right. Um, I'm going to go now because I'm my throat's going. And um, I love you all. Can you see it? And, uh, Can you see hope it? You, hope you all have a wonderful. Can you see it? Oh, you've done it. Thank you. They wouldn't let me. You just yeah. came up with a big flash up saying this goes against our community standards. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Vera. I, I copied the link. That's 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 <laughs> the trick, probably. Oh, I see. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Yeah, but Greg must have done it first, and he didn't get. He didn't get it. Get a community standards thing, did he? Oh. Oh, you wanted you to say something? Oh, what do you think? I'm hungry, she says. Okay, thank you, Vera, for joining me. Love you lots. Um, next Love time you I'll see you will be tomorrow. Um, it's um, psychic development class tomorrow. If anybody wants to join in, it's five pounds, which works at about seven dollars. Um, I'll put the link up on my page. Um, you can just join in, come and join the family. Um, there's lots of laughter and there's lots of teaching as well. Okay. So. And let a lot of laughter, you'd learn a lot faster. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't teach seriously. I, I don't um, I like serious. serious. I don't like serious. I, I have serious moments where it's like, right, we've got to get on now. Yep. Um, but it is, it is like a little party too. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. See bye you bye, tomorrow. everyone. See you tomorrow, Ellie. Bye. bye.